Well, hello everyone. Um, my name is Jen and welcome to my channel, Jen's Gems and Vintage Finds. My name is Jen and of course my husband Joe is here. Hello. And um, we are going to do a live sale today. Um, we have some spring kind of exciting items for spring since it's only I think three days away, I believe. So like the 10th according to daylight savings time. We have daylight savings time this Sunday. So um so I said to wear some hey Regina, nice to see you. Thought I'd bring out some spring colors for spring today. And um so what we're gonna do, we'll have um some buy it nows in a little bit. Um today I have some uh some trinket things and some jewelry items, some new things I have. And uh, what we got? And um, oh, oh, there's my husband trying to hear me in the background. <laughs> so um, anyway, uh, but I'm glad all of you are here. Um, it's been a crazy week, and I appreciate all of you all being here. And um, so just a little housekeeping rules. I know there's some there's five people here already, so, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. For me during the show i'm at 290 subscribers so 10 more to 300 i'm kind of excited about that anytime we get a milestone i always want to celebrate um but again i'm gonna do a little housekeeping where if you're new here welcome um my pin my information at the top of the chat at jen's gems finds at gmail.com we would need your name your youtube name your paypal email um complete mailing address phone number um, and we do invoicing overnight hours into tomorrow morning. So that way we can get things shipped out relatively quickly after you guys send your payments through. So at this point, we only collect PayPal or do things through PayPal, um, for invoicing. So with that being said, we're going to get started. So, Bring it on. all right. So, um, as I go along, I know some people will join in here shortly, or if you're not here, if there's something you wanted to see from my um, preview video, don't hesitate to ask. I'm going to show a few things to get started, and then we will get into some buy it nows, and we'll go from there. So, okay, so let me move the camera. Hope all of you are having a wonderful day. It is, what, 72 degrees here in Florida. Um, I know some other places in the country aren't so fearful with the weather or fair with the weather like we are so um i hope all of you are enjoying spring as it comes along so let me see what i got here for you guys so let me kind of move things over the camera a couple of things are just on the preview i am going to start with this lovely little guy he is my little fenton bunny okay i'm gonna kind of hold him up to the camera say hello and he's hand painted. If you guys are fencing collectors, um, this is from the, a company called Fenton. Here is the sticker on the bottom. Fenton. I had beautiful necklaces. Thank you, Regina. And this is um, made by M. Olmsted. From the he is uh, the, the hand painter artist who did this one. You have a house full of fencing. Well, I don't know if you have this little guy. Um, this one is from the Butterfly Kisses. Apparently, they did a series. So they had artists that did a little pa uh, painting of the bunny. Um, let me give you information on him. He's three inches tall. Um, let me show you. He is also embossed with the Fenton logo, which is right here. Let me get that in close up. Zoom I might have to zoom. I've got a pattern on shirt today, everybody. So hopefully my Ozbot will like me today. I don't know. We'll see how this all goes today. Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't like me. There we go. Fenton. There's him right there. Fenton. Yep. Okay. So let me zoom back out. And so now I found him. The place that I got him from had a Fenton box. I thought it was the box to go with the, with him. Unfortunately not, because this says, bottom of the box says bird. <laughs> bird in white. <laughs> but it is a Fenton box. It's camouflage. It's a Fenton Art Glass Company, Williamstown, Vince, Virginia. 
Okay. So you'll get the, I have bubble wrap in here. We'll bubble wrap him up and send it to you. Somebody's handwriting. Regina said her great aunt had a decorating business for 30 years. Oh, okay, Regina. Cool. That's neat to know. Well, anyway, um, we're going to start the bidding. If anybody's interested in Mr. F I'm going to call him Butterfly Kisses Bunny, Fenton um, Bunny for spring. Um, starting bid of, let me get my information. Where is he? $48. Hello to everybody in the chat who's here. I know that some of you like to stay behind the scenes. Well, and some of them are on or at work. I get you. But he's Mr. Fenton. Mr. Fenton but Bunny. I just thought I picked him up because spring is here. Easter is around the corner. And some people like unique things I find. Right later. Okay. You can think about it. I just thought he was so precious and cute. I love the little heart on his nose. <laughs> okay, we'll move on. Let me put him in the box. I don't want him to get broken. I just want to put him in the box. Yep. All right, we'll put him in the box. All right. Moving on. I only just get them my little. I have a couple things just pulled out here. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Roberta. Nice to see you. Happy Thursday. Antoinette. Antoinette's Hi, here. I just showed the Fenton Bunny in case anybody was interested. That was the first item. I know you guys are just joining, but um, that was the first item I just showed was the Fenton Bunny. Now we're moving on to pink and purple glass rhinestone clip earrings. Vintage. They measure one and a half inches long. And these are start bid of $32. They have a really pretty color to them. Kind of a, a chatoyant glass to them, like kind of a, a very unique color. Regina's in. Regina's in for 32. Thank you, Miss Regina. And again, one and a half inches long. If you want me to hold them up to my Head, I will hold on. Let me just move my camera for a second. I did the hair down today, ladies. So the hair is wild a little bit today for me. I usually have my hair up, but here, let me take these one off. Here, let me put one on for you just so you can see it. They're stunning. Comfortable too. All righty. Yes, they are clips. Yes. Sorry, let me put my earring back on. <laughs> I know you guys these like to see um, modeled. modeled on. Yes, and Joe's not going to do that for you. I'm, yeah, I, mean, I, I, <laughs> I know that maybe we'll really, pay him money to do that. I don't know. But... Really don't want to, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to count these down for Regina in five, four, Three, two, what? Sold to Regina. Thank you, Miss Regina. Now, Regina, do you normally just only wear clip earrings, just so I'm aware? Because I do go out and find a lot of clips, but I wasn't sure. Um, you know, I, you know, you look, you know. No, you wear both. both? Okay. Hey, T at Nana's. Nice to see you. I think she's been here before, right? Uh, T, so. make sure I, first of all, welcome. <laughs> I'm Jen from Jen and Jen, Jen's Gems and Vintage Finds. My husband, Joe, is here. He's in the Hi. background. Um, welcome to my channel. I know I've seen you in other chats. Um, I pinned my information at the top of the chat, Miss T. Make sure you've registered with me, uh, Jen's Gems Finds at gmail.com. And, um, that way you can bid on things if you see something you like. So um, welcome, and hopefully you find some things you like here. All Hi, right. everyone. And Joe saying hello to everybody. All right. No, going back to my show and tell class. Here we go. <laughs> Where is my – did I give you the wrong – did I give you the wrong thing? No? Nope. 
I had a little thing for him. Where'd he go? In the bottom of the box. No. But whatever. I'll move on. <laughs> I'll, I will measure. I'll do measurements as we go along. Sometimes I'll have paperwork and sometimes I found it. This is a vintage um, jewelry box. Kind of scroll. Um, to you right down by your chair, right side. Oh, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> I have sticky notes, so I had to tell me what I got. Okay, so this is a vintage brass scroll work. Cream colored velvet. It's a wear. I mean, this is probably from the probably the 60s, I'm going to take a guess. Late 50s, early 60s. Brass beveled edge glass. Um, it measures four inches in um, square. And it measures two and three quarters inch high. It has, now see, of course, it has some wear, some age. Okay. If anybody's interested in these, I know that these are collectible. Jason, if you guys all know Jason, he did a thing on um, these kind of styled jewelry boxes. And if anybody's interested in this, we're going to start this at 60. Scroll work is. And a lot of detail on the scroll work. Let me get you close up. This has the rivets um, that hold the brass work on. Okay. Let's see interest. We're going to pass on that. Let me put that little information in there. And I have a couple things on this bus, and I'm going to go over them with you, ladies um, and gentlemen who might be here. So, what I have a couple strands. These two are exactly the same necklace. These two long ones here. Okay, they're glass. This is Brighton. Okay. So, if anybody's interested in this, I will give you information on this. Let me take this other one off so it doesn't get confusing. That's the one. Okay. So if, okay, let me do, let me do the zooming. Sorry, y'all. I'm not prepared here. <laughs> let me come back over here. Yes, all of them. Okay. Well, here we go. We're going to do this. So this is a 31 inch long with a two inch, ex oh, excuse me, wrong one. I'm looking at two different things. 20 inch drop, so it's 40 inches long with a two inch extender on each of these. Let me do it up close. Let me zoom my camera. I'm fighting the camera. Yeah, you're fighting that. I'm fighting the camera. No, no, one don't say hi to the camera. Okay, so here's the tag. The B for Brighton. It's this gunmetal black metal color this is glass silver plated faux pearl you kind of have the um gray pearls on here and the white pearls hold on having a moment then it comes down to this section where it has a double chain and then it has more glass at the bottom okay so since I have two of them, I didn't know if you, you know, some people would only need one, but I, I have them priced separately or I'll give you a deal if you want both. So, you know, I have, they're both the same. I just kind of have them layered together on the bus right here. So I don't know how you guys want to do this, but here's the deal. If I'm doing the set, I will do them for a start bid of $48 for both. 48 for both. If you want only one we will do um what did i say 40 uh 28 for one so whatever bids come in on the screen that's what we're gonna go with and then go from there but these are both exactly the same chain sometimes like i said with the extenders you can play around with them how they lay on your blouse um, and stack them together. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. 
and I have that. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back here. You guys can think on that. And then I have this other strand, not Brighton, but glass, individually knotted. Let me, I keep doing this with the camera. Let me, un why does it feel like it's so zoomed in? There you go, okay. And these are kind of, if you guys are really coming across on camera here, let's see here. It's like a gray glass. Oh, I don't like this way zooming in. Hold on one second. Let's zoom in close. There you go. There we go. Okay. So you guys can see their checkerboard kind of cut. And then you've got the individually knotted silk strand. And this is the clasp. Sorry, I got that in the way. We got a lobster claw clasp with the extender. And this measures, if anybody's interested in this, this would be 31 inches long with a two inch extender. Start bit on this one is 32. Now hold on, I'm trying to get in focus again for you. And that's not having a moment. that you guys are seeing that. Maybe I don't, let me do it on a white bus so you guys can see the color. Maybe their black isn't healthy. This might be better. There you go. Now you can see it better. Okay, I don't see any interest. We're gonna move on. All right, before I go any further, was there anything that you guys wanted to see from my haul video? Before I get into some like buy it nows and stuff like that, usually what I do next. Yeah, we can, of course we can come back late. We can come back to that, of course. You guys can think about what I have, and then you can decide what you want. But I'm going to put them away, just or put them aside. I don't want to lose anything. I want... did receive uh, Nana. Nana, we got your information. Tia Nana. Tia Nana, we have your information, so you are free to bid. I love. She's from Maine. <laughs> so you're from Maine? What part of Maine? Is she? What do you do? Bath. You know where that is? Yeah. My husband's from Maine, uh, Nana. You're from uh, Millbridge, right? Yep. Millbridge, Maine. You know where that is? All right, um, Gina's just asking to come back later and see the difference. Yeah, I see that. Yep. Okay, what did I do with the little. On the floor again. Again, on the floor. <laughs> I lose post it notes, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think, my, according to my husband, I think it's two hours from the Canadian border well, where you're from. Depends on which way you're going I'm to the border. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, Regina is asking colorful necklaces. Colorful necklaces. Okay, Regina, we'll get, we'll go do some colorful necklaces. Let me just put these away. Um, yeah, let me do that. <laughs> I'm getting so sidetracked with what I'm doing. I try to have a couple things and then I get all discombobulated. Okay, let me get my things from the week. You can see I'm not really too prepared. Is that bad? <laughs> no, you're on your best. You know, I, I try my best, but sometimes I get discombobulated. Okay, let me find that necklace, a couple of those beaded necklaces. All right, let's just start with this one. And welcome, everybody, for being here. Sorry, I'm a little discombobulated today, but hopefully you guys won't hear. You always are understanding. <laughs> No rush. <laughs> Thank you, Regina. That means a lot. For those of you who, I know Nana's new to me, or meeting me at least. Um, I work full time at a hospital in the emergency department. So I kind of do this on the side. So sometimes bear with me a little bit if I'm trying not to be as professional as I can, but I try to get caught up <laughs> to what I'm doing. So this is one I did have um, in the preview. This is Stamped AE, Ameri which is, stands for American Eagle Outfitters. It's a, was a, um, you guys might know American Eagle. Um, it's a brand of clothing. They also did some jewelry apparently because it is stamped 925 on the uh, clasp. And these are glass. 
Let me get this close so you guys can see. Hope the lighting's okay for everybody to see everything. Let me zoom in. This measures 27 inches long. And they are individually strung. So we got purples and pinks and blues and greens. Double strand here. And <laughs> yeah, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up for Jenny, please. <laughs> and Joe. Well, no. <laughs> it's all about you, my dear. No, it's about you. honey. All right. AE, American Eagle. And then there's the uh, Sterling class. All right. So. All right, if anybody's interested in this, we have a start bid on this one at 26. I lowered it a couple dollars just because that's the way I roll. <laughs> Fun, I kind of it kind of matches my shirt on today. I got excited for spring. And Regina's in her 26. Thank you, Miss Regina. It's a pretty pretty beads there. Let me show you how close to. And I hope everyone's having a great day, great week. All right, let me put back on the bust. All right, I don't see any other interest, so I'm going to count this down for Regina in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Miss Regina. Congratulations, Miss Regina. All right, Joe gets that. Yeah, Thank right. you. Oh, here's the bag. <laughs> Thank you. Um, now, here's the, I know Regina was asking me about something, so I'm going to show her that, well, anybody, but if anybody's interested, I do have a pair of Millefiori earrings, glass, accents. These are sterling. They measure two and a quarter inches long. They weigh about 6.62 grams total when you put them on the scale. Let me give you a close up of the beads. And these I'm starting at $16 because anybody's interested in this. Kind of some of them have a little stretched glass, but I thought they were kind of different. Regina's in for 16. Thank you, Miss Regina. We do $1 increments up to $20, and then after 20, we do $2 increments for everybody who's here. I'm gonna count these down for Regina. In five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Regina. Thank you, Miss Regina. All right, my husband will get those. Let's see, what else I have for necklaces? I don't remember what I had for my preview. Even though I just did my preview two days ago, I forget what I even showed. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, my opal light. I had some sterling ladies. I don't know if you saw my preview. I had, I had some Taxco. Um, just going down a little bit. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking for glass beads and things. Like, oh, I had this. Last one. This is 18 and a half inches long. Oh, hold on. And you've got glass, the milk glass. You can tell these are hand blown because the, the beads are not regular. You can see how they're kind of a little bit, you can see the shape of them okay but everything's glass so you have the opalescent or the um i call more like a yeah ab red glass and then you have the true crimson red glass all strung on copper this is the back the scroll work shepherd's hook clasp over here and i'm going to start this one start bid of 22. 
And hi, Roberta. Did I say hi to Roberta? Who else did I miss? I mean, everybody else. Well, so while else is here? There's 13 people here. So whoever else is in the chat, I don't want to say it. I want to make sure I get a hello for me. It's 18 and a half inches long. It's really pretty handmade. Be. Size 18 and a half. Yeah, I know. I know, Virginia, you need 20, don't you, honey? You probably could put an extender, though, on it. There's a couple more rings on here. Or take one off of that. Too small? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to pass. All right. How many? Was it 290 you said? How many subscribers on? Uh, don't worry about this. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm excited and we're almost near 300. It's like a big milestone for me. Hi, so. Gail. Hi, Gail. Nice to see you. All right. They have opalites. This is an interesting combination and a stone called rhodonite. So, natural stone. Man-made glass. These are, I didn't test if these were sterling. Hmm. Oh, they are. Yes, they are marked sterling. Or, yes, these are sterling silver. And start bid on these in case anybody's interested in this would be $16. They measure one and a half inches long. Let me get my black bust sometimes with these. I'm sorry, everybody. I kind of fudge between colors to help you guys see the. This might look better. There we go. Look at this. Oh. That was blue. I love that. Love the opal. Okay. I don't see any interest. And these have the French wires in case anybody's interested. Those. Okay. I want to move on. And hi, Gail. Hope you're having a great day. If there's anything that every uh, that everybody who's here again, I'm gonna just keep kind of. Don't hope you don't think I'm not repeating myself, but I know some people are joined late. If there's something you saw in the preview, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I'm just gonna start showing some of the items that, of course, from the preview, so you guys can see it. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, here we go. Glass and gemstone. Okay. This is jasper and glass. So in total, you had 17 inches long, but it has a three inch extender. So this goes up to 20, Regina, I'm just to let you know. Okay, I know she needs the 20 or more. So, and you have the seed beads up at the top here. So you got some purple glass, the green glass, the AB kind of green glass. You got down there these natural jasper stones. Let me put it all the way at the end, just so you guys can see it all the way at the last spot on this extender. Oh, one more link. And this is a start bit if anybody's interested in this. So this is how it would be. Go ahead on the longest length like that. Okay. If anybody's interested in this necklace, you'd be a start bid of 26. It's not sterling silver, but these are... I think each of these agate, excuse me, um, Jasper pieces measure almost an inch long. They're large, large in a charge and they're all faceted. They kind of look like remind me of Easter eggs. <laughs> So I don't know. I just figured I find color and I thought we're, we're coming out of winter. I'm trying to find some bright and cheery things. So 
I found that. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> we'll pass. All right. Let's see. More color. And do we have another long one? This is um, Mother of Pearl Shell and kind of a bangly silver tone. Ooh, I'm gonna get this shot so long. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let me zoom out. <laughs> Let me go out. There you go. There we go. Hope you can see the whole thing. I'm zooming down. Now hold it up a little bit. There you go. So it's got these little hammered um, silver tone charms. And then on here, I'm going to do close up so you guys can see the shell. Kind of a teal. And they're kind of an interesting shape. They're kind of like little folds, like if you took a book and you filled them in half. Anyway, I liked it, thought it was different. $16 start bid, if somebody's interested in this. This measures 38 inches long. Just to have nice, long, flowy, you can layer it with other, your sterling if you wanted to. Keep looking for some more stuff while that's going on. You can show some pros next. Okay, I don't see any interest. We're gonna move on. All right. How about some pearls? You guys looking for some pearls? I have a big one long strand of Fresh water. Use the white. Yes, I'm gonna use the white one. I just gotta find the end here. Hold on. There's no clasp here. It just has a knot at the end of it. Okay. Fits actually the bus all the way down to the end. Okay. This is 41 inches long. It's a continuous strand dyed freshwater pearl necklace, but they have the peacock color. Let me give the zoom. They have the plums, the greens, the purples. The pearls measure, let me get my, oh, I don't have the, I thought I did a measurement. Let me get you a measurement on the pearls so you know how long they are, or size-wise. I do pretty, sometimes I forget to do everything. I have a checklist and sometimes I forget. <sighs> one second. That's why I have a micrometer. These come wonderful. Measures. I say, well, of course, they're fresh water, so 5.6 up to maybe six millimeters, so maybe five and a half to six. If anybody's interested in this, we're doing a start bit of $48, a little over a dollar an inch. And you can double this up, which I will show you. You can put clip on an enhancer on here. Stunning, they're stunning color. Oh, I wish you guys could only see the color. There we go. You guys seeing that? Let me look at this. Hi, Kathy. And then Kathy's in for 48. Nice to see you. Let me write that down. Five and a half to six. I know. They're beautiful pearls. Beautiful. I know they. On hopefully, uh, when you see these in person, you're gonna. They look just as good. I know on camera. If you guys are seeing this, but they have more of a, um, more of a true peacock color. Hopefully, you're seeing that. Yeah, you see okay. All right. I'm gonna count these down for Kathy in five, four. Three, two, one. Sold to Kathy. Thank you very much, ma'am. Good to see you. Take your box for your calipers, too. Oh, let me take so it. You don't... Yep, let's do it. 
I've got things running around my desk like I had my head is like cut off like a chicken. <laughs> I don't know where everything's going. All right. If there's anything you guys saw, I'm just going to keep going here for a little bit. I hope it's okay for everybody here. But you guys want to see new things, new unusual things. All right. This is interesting, okay? For sure. This is definitely unique. This is a 29-inch Tibetan glass and base metal engraved box necklace. It's not sterling silver. Let me give you a close-up. Now, I don't think this opens. I didn't try it. But I know that Mia, you guys at Crazy May Stash, she had something like this on her haul video yesterday she was doing. But And I thought about mine, but I'm not going to... There is detail on the side. I don't think it opens. I think it's just decoration this way. But it is decorated on the side, on the front. Let me show you the clasp. Sorry about my hook. Has the vintage hook clasp. Not sterling though, no. And hi Linda. Hi Linda, nice to see you, honey. Um, this measures, like I said, 29 inches long. It's a unique piece. So I'm gonna start this at $38. You just got home. Well, say hi to Buddy for me and Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was unusual. You don't see things like this, and I pick things up. I wish, you know, here's a close-up of the beads. Let me give you a close-up. So, buddy's watching. Hi, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move on. All right. I've got 14 people here. I'm excited about that. <laughs> 13 thumbs up. If I'm, unless I'm slow. I don't know on my end. Am I slow? What I see and what Joe sees are two different things sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah. All right. I have a bone necklace. This is, if you guys remember, I had a um, Jasper necklace similar. Oh, let me put this on black. Hold on, let me move this in up. Okay. I actually have it backwards, so it would be this way. There we go. That looks better. Okay. All right. So this is a bone oval disc vintage necklace. It has a hook closure clasp. It's 24 inches long. It's not sterling. But it does have a trademark in it. Oh, it's stuck in the ring. Hold on. Oh, here, let me hold it up to the camera. It says the Guardian. I don't know. I never, I'm not familiar with that company, but you guys are. I don't know. Sorry about my dry nails. I use Perel every day at the hospital. <laughs> my skin. All right. It says Guardian right there. Hopefully that's going through. Okay. All right. If anybody's interested in this vintage bone necklace, I'm starting this at $42. Start bid. I put it back around. Different look. But these kind of things are getting harder to find. For sure. Um, Kathy had a question. Did you sell the Robert nope. Morris? Nope. I still have them, Kathy. Haven't even shown them yet, but I have them here. I will show them next for you since you're asking. Nope. Still have them. Okay. I don't see interest. interest. You're welcome. 
I don't see interest in this, so we're going to move on. And let me go up what Kathy wants to see. They're right behind me, actually, sitting back here. Hold on. I don't want to drop anything. Put it right here. What you got the tray for? <laughs> All right, hold on. Now I gotta find my notes because we're in a different part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's this one's about the earrings. I gotta get the Robert Morris ones. Hold on. That's right, Kathy. She needs to work it off. <laughs> No, oh, you're not sorry. I'm not sorry, Kathy. That's what I'm here for. You should see me when I'm running around the emergency room with everything. I'm going in five different directions all the time. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Robert Willie Morris, Soho. Let me take an earring off so you can see in the back. 14 karat gold, uh, French wires, and brass. Hold on. Come on. There you go. Robert Lee Morris. And then the other side says, if you can see that, it says Eliz Elizabeth James. Elizabeth James. Anyway. Um, let me hold on. I got the information. Elizabeth and James is what it's called. Okay. Let me get you a link. No, I'm not an RN. I work in registration. So I got to make sure all the patient's information is right. Show me your coat, parents. <laughs> yes. One and a half inches long, Kathy. Here's my little gauge here. Well, maybe a little less than that. One and three eighths. Anyway, these are a uh, start bid of $42 on the Robert Lee Morris. And you're going to get them just like in this card. I'll make sure Joe sends the card just like this. And they're 14 karat wires. Yeah, New comps on these ladies. These are these these are actually collectible. Yeah, these in 42. Thank you, Kathy, for your bid. All right, I don't see any other interest, so I'm gonna count these down for Kathy. In five, four, three, two, what? Sold to Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. See, Kathy's how it works. You just ask what you want, and I'll show it to you. <laughs> I'm here for you and everybody else on this channel. All right, now we're going to the next piece. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. These are clip earrings, vintage, three-dimensional. I'm not an expert, as you guys know about costume more than gemstone, but here we go. Hold on one second. The... Hi, Adriel. Hi, Adriel. Nice to see you. Okay, here we go. Glass, AB rhinestone, prong set. Little Florida de lis accents around the top. This is the side view. This we did try to clean this up as best as I could. It does have some verdigris on it. I did. I don't. I scrub it as much as I can till I feel because these are very um, delicate prongs, and I don't want to go too much. You guys, but I, this this was bad on the back, but I got this real. Joe actually helped me with the cleaning on that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, clean. Joe did that. Joe, I'll be cleaning. But you know, with this one, especially because this doesn't have solid back, it's all riveted. These are a little bit more delicate, so you got to be a little bit more careful. Okay, so let me give you a link. So this is three inches on the brooch. Okay, length and width. Here are the earrings that go with it. Oh. Hold on. Camera? And camera. Okay, so there's the matching earrings. Clip, gold tone. Okay, the earrings measure one inch long. Okay, somebody, you know, uh, a 
upon, a, I guess I'm doing a little research. This could be what a designer called Alice or Alice Kavanis. I'm not familiar with her, but um, anyway, I'm not saying it is from her, but some, you know, has the markings or design Y features that, from her. Um, anyway, start bid on the set is 80. I guess anybody's interested. That's a nice piece there. Let me show you up close. <sighs> Sorry, I just have to get my elbow on the desk to help a little more support my hand. Come on, let me zoom it. There you go. Okay, so here's a close of the brooch. It's a really pretty piece. But you see, I did as much, we did as much scrubbing. You guys want to do a little more scrubbing? I, I did as much as I could without. Kathy's on. Okay. And then the ears and earrings. Can, oh, I just want to make sure Kathy sees everything. Yeah. And Kathy, here's the earrings. Hold on. Okay. There you go. I did as much as I could. Well, I actually think Joe, he, he helps me with this kind of stuff sometimes. All right. I don't see any other interest. I'm going to count this down for Kathy. We'll make sure we package this up beautifully as we always do. In five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Kathy. Thank you, Miss Kathy. All righty. Let me take them off of here. Let's get a couple bags here. Let's we'll give us one second, ladies. We'll put that in a bag. And then here's this one to put in a separate bag. Yeah. I'm the packager. He's the package one. Okay. What do we want to show next? We want sterling. What do you guys want? I'm still going through my box here. Let's see. Oh, well, Linda's here. Linda. <laughs> I got another pin for your collection if you want. <laughs> I got a gold tone little kitty pin. Little, little gold tone kitty brooch. He measures one and a quarter inches long. I'm going to start him at $12. No marking, no designer marking, but very cute. It has that um, satin. Mark on him. Okay, we'll put them aside. Let's see. I've got lots to see, show you guys. So let's, I know we can get through some things here. All right. Oh, Linda. Oh, Linda likes them? Okay. Yep. One, two, three, sold. <laughs> <laughs> sold to Linda. I'm gonna put it down for Linda. Um, that Linda Hoffman. Can I just call him? Anytime I sell you a little brooch, I'll call him Buddy. Buddy's got friends now. <laughs> All right. I did print 12 on the right. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I have a vintage Avon piece out of a Victorian revival, I guess you want to call it. I know some of you guys collect the Avon pieces. Okay, this is acrylic beads though, they're not glass, but it is uh, brass tone, okay? It is signed Avon SP on the back of the piece. 15 inches long plus a 3.75 inch extender, start bid $14 in case anybody wants the Avon. Don't see any interest. We're going to pass that on that. I go show and go on Jenny's channel. For all the new, new people who are on my channel. We don't mess around. We move, move, move. <laughs> all right. Now, I did a little research on this one, ladies. Again, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I kind of put things out there for rarer the better. So 
I have this, ebonized wood and brass. Ingo. Google image this if you don't believe me. These on eBay are going for about $185. I would never get, I mean, I picked it up just because I've had people ask me, Jenny, fine, I love, I love bangles. Find me bangles. Okay. Well, I'm not going to charge you $185. You can see that these go for that. These are nice. They're from Africa. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, if anybody's interested in this, we're going to start this at $32. Put on the cone, please. Put on the cone. Sure. I put on the cone. This is what it is right here. Eight and a quarter. Might be a little bigger than that. Eight, eight and a quarter to eight and a half, somewhere around there. Vintage for sure. Oh, 30. Yeah, but these go for, you know. Yeah, you're welcome. No problem. Um, I was surprised. I had no idea that they were asking a lot of money for these. <laughs> <laughs> I just sometimes think that certain things are just really oh, okay. <laughs> but, okay, we're gonna pass. And you guys can always get back to me if you see something you like too. It's not a big deal to me. All right. What else we got? I'm just going. You know what? I'm gonna put them in here. I don't put things in boxes, I lose things. So let me just give me one second, lady. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Do we have any Monet collectors? Oh, well, happy, happy hunting, Tanya. Of course you can stop in anytime. We appreciate you coming in. I hope you're finding some good stuff. Hope you got some good weather while you're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have vintage gold tone Monet. Um, you love it, but it's too big, Kathy. Is she asking for it? You want me to put it back on the cuff again? Let me turn. Hold on. You could. Well, here. Hold on. Let me get it. Uh, I, <laughs> I just had it. Wow, Jenny. I'm losing things like no more. She just found uh, she just found two bags of jewelry full of gold. <laughs> you found two bags full of jewelry full of gold? Well, you do live in California, so you are gonna find <laughs> Hey, but with gold prices. Gold up. prices, go for it, girl. Good for you. <laughs> All right, well, here's this. Let me put this back. I don't know if Kathy was asking about it, but I know. Here we go. Too big, but. It's too big. These are collectible, though. So I don't know if you just for the collectability standard or if you want to gift it to somebody. Or you might want to try it. If it, you might, it may work for you. I don't know. I mean, you're trying to get home. What do you normally wear for a bingle? I'll put it on my wrist here. I don't think. Yeah, uh, don't, don't force the issue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, you let me know. I'm gonna put that back. I don't know if that was a bit or not, but I'm gonna pass it. If she wants it, we'll come back to it. Okay. Gold Tone Monet hammer disc necklace, 16 inches long, plus a one and three quarter inch extender. Start bid $14. For Monet. You want it? Okay, I'll, I'll get it for you, Kathy. If you want it, I got it sold to you. I just want to make sure. I gotcha. All right, Kathy, I got that bracelet for you. Got it. All right. Here, if anybody's interested in the Monet, this is start bid of 14.
Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Tanya, don't you? I'm just happy you're, you you decided to come in and say hello. It means a lot to me. So thank you. Okay. I'm going to pass on the Monet. I don't see any interest in that. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. <laughs> she put Roberta time out. Yeah. All right. I have some um, acrylic and glass. Um, these are long. They're two and a half inches long. Earrings, French wire, kind of a peachy pinky color. If anybody's interested in these, I'll start these at 12. I'm dropping these. I'll do $12 on these. <laughs> Welcome back, Roberta. Welcome back, Roberta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna pass on these. I don't see any interest in these, so we'll move on that. Uh, we're good, Tanya. We're, we're good. good, Tanya. We got it. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, a couple more pieces, clip earrings here. These are signed book pieces, KJL. Let me put it up. Clip earrings. Hold on, let me get out the little display here. The name of this earring is called Large Caprianti. There is a necklace to go with this. I don't have it, but I do know that it's in the book, his book, Kenneth J. Lane. Here you go. They're beautiful. Have the foil background. I want to do KJL for Avon. These measure one and three quarter inches long. Nice condition. Now these are not inexpensive, okay? Because they are a book piece. However, if anybody's interested, we're gonna start the bid of these at 68. Okay, I'm going to pass and move on. All right, what else we got? Oh, we got almost an hour. Oh, boy. Okay. I also have another collectible brooch. This is from Oscar de la Renta. Again, take a screenshot of this, ladies, and um, see what these go for. If you rhinestone faux pearl, Oscar de la Renta brooch. Could wear it on a chain if you wanted to, if you hung it through the. This measures two inches long by 1.75 inches wide. This was sold at Nordstrom's. Um, they start, now there's different different um, designs of this. Sometimes you'll find it with black and gold, or they did it here with the, the white metal with the pearl, all pearl. Um, this is start bid on this. 60. 
These go for usually around 90 to 120 on eBay, just to put you on the same page where I'm at. Okay, I'll let you think on that. You can get back to me. Put them in the bag. All right, I'm gonna move on to some maybe some sterling pieces because I haven't shown any of that yet. Um, let's see. All right, we're gonna move on to that next. All right, Nikki Butler. These are 18 karat over sterling, vermeil. These are gorgeous earrings. We got, I'm trying to get these straight. Moonstone, freshwater pearl, and green chalcedony. I'm trying to get them straight so you guys can see them. There you go. Pierced ears. Original backs. Let me show you the Merc. Let me put one. Let me put them on here. They measure um, one and a half inches long, 10.12 grams in weight. And I'm going to show you the Merc. Oh, NB, Nikki Butler, right there. If anybody's, in, look at the, I love Moons. I love her Moonstone. When she uses Moonstone in her pieces, very nice quality Moonstone. Well, even all gemstones she uses, but especially her Moonstone. Um, starting bid on these are 100. Okay, I'm gonna pass on those. And I'm gonna show a couple Mexican pieces and then we're gonna get into some buy it now. So is that okay? What well, sounds like a plan everybody there? I have gold available in case somebody's interested. I did, you know, still have some gold pieces. I'm just, whatever, I'm here for you <laughs> and your jewelry needs. <laughs> Oh, okay. I showed this from my preview. This is gorgeous. This is one of my personal favorites. I love this bracelet. Oh, yeah. This is marked and tested 925. Abalone. Oh, wrong way. Abalone. And Mother of Pearl. You have different variations of color on the Mother of Pearl. Notice how they have cut each individual section, like tiles you would put in your subway, we call it subway tile in your kitchen or bathroom, and then they put it together. All sterling silver. This measures six and three quarters up to an eight, because there's different rings at the end here. You've got the three adjustable rings. Get this in close. Like that. So you got the five panels plus the toggle. This weighs 31.69 grams. I'll put it on, I'll just put it, put it on the, the cone, but again, this is adjustable. This is the largest length here. We're gonna start the bidding on this, and it might not fit because it's a panel bracelet, but that's where I'm getting it. It will fit because it see how there's gap here. But I want to show it on here. It's easier for me to show sometimes on here. Starting bid of $80. It's beautiful, very unique. You don't find this a lot, especially all that work to do that. 
31.69 grams of silver. Silver's going up too, the price of silver. Oh, has it? Joe keeps me informed of what gold and silver prices are. He just informed me silver has gone up too. Okay, we're going to move on. Now, let me get to the tax school pieces. Oh, I have this one too. Anybody like elephants? Ellie, Ellie. I have Ellie the elephant. Three-dimensional elephant. Let me use the zoom. You're seeing that up close. There you go. That's focused. Is that focused? Uh, yeah. Let me know. Okay. So we have here, this is an 18-inch snake chain. You can take it off the chain it's on if you want to, but it's I'm, I'm including it with the 18 inch snake chain with the spring ring clasp. Um, the elephant is three dimensional. That's the front side, there's back side, and his trunk is up for luck. Okay. Um, 7.81 grams total in between the chain and the pendant. Starting bid on this, in case anybody's interested, would be $32. It is stamp 925. Or if you know any Alabama fans, <laughs> we're right near Alabama. We're old side. No, not for us, but. <laughs> yep. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Okay. I did show this in the preview. I had some interest in it. Let's see what I can do for you. This is sponge coral and sterling silver. Inlay pendant. Let me zoom in a little more for you. Including it on a sterling silver snake chain. What's the design supposed to be? It's just an inlay um, modern this design. Is that focused? Seems like not. Hold on. I think I haven't zoomed in too much. There you go. So now you guys can see this is sponge coral. See how you got the little indentations in the coral? Now that way you're looking at sponge coral. All right. I'm trying to get that focus for everybody. It's not seem like it's in focus. No. There we go. It just came into focus. All right. Two inches long on the pendant. The pendant weighs 6.96 grams on its own. The chain measures 21 inches long and weighs 5.76 grams, okay? Um, I had some interest on this, so I recalculated things and the lowest I can go on here would be $68 start bit and you get both, the chain and the pendant. And this is sponge coral. That's the back, it says Sterling. And then the chain has a shepherd hip clasp. Oh, hold on, one of those, 925. Okay, all right, we're gonna move on. Now, I had earrings too, but I thought I'd show them too. 
I'm kind of a sucker for when it comes to labor. Like I, like I know from a, I'm not a gem cutter. Tanya could probably speak more with than I could, but just imagine you trying to cut each individual stone and trying to put these in little settings like these are. I mean, how much labor and time and patience that would take to do that. This is also sponge coral. Okay. And these are marked AS sterling. 5.28 grams, pure steers. I don't have sterling backs. They got the disc backs, but here, let me take one off so you can see. Three quarters of an inch long, 5.28 grams. I didn't know if I, but I said that already, but where is the mark? Here we go. AS sterling. Anybody's interested in these? Again, work to consideration. Some people had interest. See what I can do. 60. Start bid. Sponge coral. Okay. Yeah. We're going to move on. Let's see. Turquoise earrings. These have the mark C, it says sterling. C, and then it has almost like the if the diagram, if you drew like an intersection diagram, like the cross, that's what these has the trademark on. Okay. Sterling silver, turquoise stud earrings, four grams. Have the original backs. Start bid, $40. 40. 40. Three quarters of an inch long. Let me show you the mark just so you guys can see it. Maybe you guys might know the mark more than I do. There you go. Looks like that. There's Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Oh, nice to see you. That's the mark I have. Oh, what happened there? All of a sudden the camera decided to go boop. Get ready for your cruise. <laughs> He's going on a, was it seven day cruise, Bruce? Right? Well, you deserve some R&R &R for sure. These are $40 start bid in case anybody kind of in late. And Bruce, share your channel. Um, Tanya, I know you're out and about. Antoinette, share your channel for everybody who's here in my link. I've got 21 people in the chat, so. And most, most everybody that I've seen who's in the chat know who you are, but for those who are in the background just watching, go ahead and share your channel. All right, moving on. All right, we're moving on. Okay. All right, let's see. Any ring lovers? I'll move on to some rings. Did you guys see my rings in the preview? This one's really cool. I love this ring. Bruce, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Bruce. No problem. Anytime. This is Druzy. Druzy Quartz. Israeli made from RL925. Stamped Israel. What I love about this Druzy, look at it. And you turn it just a little bit. It goes from purple to green, purple, green. It's got some yellow too. And yellow, oh, okay, yellow for good measure a little bit. There you go. <laughs> oh, maybe a little bit of blue. So you got all different <laughs> colors of the rainbow in here. Look at that. This is a size six. It weighs 5.93 grams. Okay, all handmade. Let me show you the mark. Oh, 
There we go. Trying to get everything on the screen. RL925 Israel. All hand pounded. If anybody's interested in this, start bid $38. Israeli made, handmade, crafted ring. Sure, it's not a mood ring. It's not a mood <laughs> ring. Well, I guess you could. <laughs> not the traditional mood ring, no. Yeah. I guess in a sparkly way, you could say it's a mood ring. <laughs> That's not what it's designed, though. It's really pretty. Okay, we'll move on. Yeah. You guys want to do buy it nows now? You ready, or do you want me to keep going with trying the new stuff? I need some input. Let's do some buy it nows. Want to do buy it nows? Has some has some yeah, show and go time? Okay. Well, so let me come back to the camera. Say hello to every. <laughs> Everybody say new stuff. What's cut? What's cuz? What does that mean? More rings? What's cuz? Cz. <laughs> <laughs> CZ ring? Oh, you want me to show you the CZ ring? I got that. You guys yeah. are, I'm glad you guys watched my previews. That makes me... <laughs> it's kind of like, good. I have a place to go. All right. CZ ring. Got it, Kathy. Got it. Here we go. I mean, this is what she's talking about. The one that looks like Beyonce's big drop. <laughs> Doesn't cost as much. Emerald cut. Look at this gorgeous CZ. I think this is Dominique. Don't quote me on this. I'm not a, you know, but the quality of the cutting on this is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. That's all I can say is when you see this in person, it's like it lights up the whole room. Sterling silver. Size. Size four and a half. It's a small one. Let me put it on my hand. I, I don't have four and a half, but I'll put it on my pinky. Oh. It's on my forehead. Hold on. <laughs> it's on my pinky. Sterling silver. And 6.17 grams. It is stamped sterling with a P trademark. And start bid 48. I know it's tiny, but I had to get it because I just love the quality of the cutting. When you find stuff like this, you know quality. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Kathy. You can get this size, Kathy, though, whatever size you need, if you need it bigger. Just make sure when you have it um, that they take heat precautions for it, okay? So what that means is that they can, they can try to... Uh, you know how much we have to go. Usually a rule of thumb on these kind of rings is about two sizes up, two sizes down. So, yeah, it's a gorgeous stone. Okay, I don't see any interest. We're going to count this down for Kathy in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Kathy. 48. Everyone's saying new stuff. What? Okay. Yeah, don't hand me your ring. Right? Yeah, I don't <laughs> think want to put my ring in there. <laughs> might be a Kathy might be happy to get my engagement <laughs> ring, but I don't think so. <laughs> I think I'd be happy to send it off. All right, what did I see in here? Somebody said something about pink. My pink. That was Kathy. Okay. All right, I just want to make she sure. Was following up on that. And and Linda, you still want to see the new stuff? Okay, so I'm just going to keep going, and then we'll see how far we get with things, okay? Um, this is a ring from JTV. It is... Um, oh, this is the wrong bag. I didn't have the other one in here. I must have missed them up. That's this one. Okay. That's this one. I have two rings, actually, from JTV. One's a black spinel and white zircon, and the other one is white zircon. Still have the tag. Do you have any of those swirl earrings? Do they have those swirl earrings? The ones that you want me to put aside for you? Swirl earrings. The coral ones? 
Yes. Yeah, they're. Let me show them to her real quick. Um, I'll show it to you on, on film, Linda, so you can make sure you like these. They're all the way in the back. Perfect. Linda. Should just be one thing. That's it. Oh. Yep. Let me show them to you, Linda. Just make sure this is what you want. Let me put them on a stand. One second. Okay. Here you go, honey. There you go, Miss Linda. These are for Linda. Linda kind of wanted these ahead of time, so I'm just showing her, her so she wants to make sure she likes them. These are stamped. Uh, W.R. Sterling. They measure two inches long. That's the back. You get the sterling backs with them. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. They're really cool earrings. I like them. All right. She gets that. Right. Now back to. And then Regina was asking any more colorful glass. Colorful glass. Okay, Miss Regina, let me take a quick peek. I know for you, because you like colorful glass stuff. Okay. The multi glass one from earlier. Oh, the one from earlier? She said, if you. Uh, can you think of something less price wise? Oh, yeah, I can do a video for her. Yeah. Of course. Let me find it. Give me one minute. If you guys, you guys know me well enough that I'm not going to get, if you find something you love and you want to, I never get offended if you guys offer me something close in price. I always take into consideration that, especially you guys buy a lot of things for me, that you know, I like to pay it forward. If I've got room, I will let you know. So, yeah. Don't ever feel that you can't ask for a little less price or something. I just got to find it when I do it. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Here, but I'm not finding it. Why am I not finding it? No, it would be here. I know because this is what I've been doing. I'm just putting things in here. It's probably stuck at the bottom of the box. Kirsten, hi, Kirsten. Share your link, honey. <laughs> you got a show later. Make sure we go see Kirsten. Sh uh, her, show. her dad is not doing well. I'm so sorry, Kirsten. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry. Prayers are for Kirsten. For sure. What did I do with it, babe? I just literally had it earlier. Did she? Which one are we talking about? Are we talking about the multicolored one? Is that just so I'm looking? Yeah. Yes. The... Multi, oh, wait a minute. The black right. one? This multi, one? one? Multi gem bracelet. Multi, no, I wanted to make sure the multi gem bracelet. Oh, the, the, oh. oh. Are you talking about my bangle that I've had here forever? <laughs> this, is that what she's talking about? That's what I, I'm sorry. That was you, is that what she's asking me, multi, Regina? It must be. I know, I got people asking. Colorful glass. No, no, she's. This is an email. Who, Regina? Yes, bracelet. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I was trying not to interrupt you. That's okay. <laughs> I'm like, well, you told me necklace. I'm like, yeah, um, I'm looking I for a necklace, this. and we got bracelet. I'm like, oh, uh, okay, hold on. All right, hold on. Let me pull it out. I gotta get my notes, Regina. Hold on. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Oh, she's looking. You're talking about the multi gemstone one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lovely, pretty. This one, Regina, right, my love? Is this the one that you've been thinking about? No, I'm here. I'm here with you. Do you want this one, honey? Let's see. I had this before at 200. This weighs eight carats of gemstones. We got amethyst. We got rhodolite garnet, citrine, peridot, uh, praiseolite in here. This is, I love this bracelet. It has a kickstand. I call it a kickstand. See how it opens up? You put it on. Boom, you're ready to go. It matches my shirt, actually, today. <laughs> All right. Um, this weighs 28.47 grams. I can do the best I can do on this love because I did pay up for this is 180. I did pay up for, but look at the quality of these gemstones. I just want everybody to take this in for a minute. Look at the depth, the cutting, eight carats of stone. Oh. oh, okay. That's okay. I put it out there. Hi, Monica. Nice to see you. I see everybody here. All right. You can think about it. All right. Now, back to what I was doing. I have to talk to you guys. Where were we at, Joe? <laughs> what is everybody? Let's 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 take a break here. Let's do let's just stop for a second. Let me come back to the camera because I I need to. Oh. Yeah, let's give, give Kirsten some prayers for sure. I'm so sorry, Kirsten. I'm so sorry. Well, prayers for you, Kirsten, and your family. We'll be thinking about you. And um, it's hard. I lost my dad, actually, what's it been now? Two years ago, Joe? Yeah. My father, actually, um, my father passed away a couple years ago, um, actually, on our wedding anniversary. So... Not getting too emotional, but in my way, I looked at it as a, he wasn't suffering. He had dementia and, um, but you know, he's in a better place now looking down on us. And that was his last, I guess, action. He go to his bless us on when he passed on our wedding anniversary. We got Mama Marge. But we got Mama Marge who celebrated her 81st birthday, um, two days ago now. So she's doing well, but, um, so yeah, I know what it's like to go through that. It's, it's very hard. Um, so let's do this. Let's do, um, do you want to do a giveaway first? And we do a oh, yeah, Okay. Let's, let me just get things kind of organized off my desk. Cause my desk is kind of a mess for a second. Just give me one second. I got things everywhere. Um, this is this one. We'll come back to this in a little bit. We're going to do a giveaway, everybody. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to do some buy it now. I think let's get people rocking and rolling. So give me, give me back. Take a break and everybody can stretch and get that back here. I still got my Fenton bunny. If anybody's looking for a Fenton bunny, bunny, bunny. my bunny for Easter. <laughs> All right, one second. Let me just move things around here. All right, let's see. Twenty. We have twenty, and we're gonna do it to what? Fifty. Okay, so we're going to do a giveaway. Let me, let me put it in the chat. Hold on. Okay. Pick a number between 1 and 15. Keep guessing till we find it. Go. And I'm going to give away something. Keep picking. Joe, you picked a good number. <laughs> I try not to. Keep picking. It's still not here yet. I looked. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Kelly goes at 80 notes on it. <laughs> I love Linda. Keep going. Some of them are so close. Oh, 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 hold on. We have it. Let me just make sure. But I think I think that's it, right? So everybody stop. We found it. Let me just make sure. But I think I, I that's what I found. I didn't see it before that. Did you see that, Joe? No, no, it's, okay, so we're good. Miss Gail, yep. number 30. Gail, Gail. Gail, you are a winner, my love. Okay. So for Miss Gail, what are we going to get for Miss Gail? Yay, Miss Gail. <laughs> Miss Gail, do you would you like a pair? Well, let's see. You like vintage or do you like more? You gotta tell me something again. Give me your reminder course because I can't remember everybody's taste. You want earrings, a long necklace, short necklace? What would you like? You tell me what's your what's your cup of tea? And hi, Gapilio. No, no vintage. Okay. All right. You are going to get from me. She likes modern stuff. Okay. Bracelet or ring. Okay. Let's see what I got. Well, I don't know if this is. I'm going to show this to you, Miss Gail. Don't, I won't be offended if you don't choose. I can pick something else. It's not sterling, but it's genuine garnets. It's a bracelet. Look at that's coming on camera right. Hold on. Yeah. Cute little Balinese. Would you wear that? Oh, she likes that. Okay. She said, thank you so much, pretty. All right. <laughs> You're welcome, Miss Gail. All right. That's a free. You're welcome. We'll do some more giveaways in a little bit. But I think what we're going to do next is do some buy it nows, okay? You guys are up for that? Let's see how this all pans out, <laughs> okay? So how this works is, let me kind of give you guys the, if you're new here, um, let me go over a couple things. Um, we're going to pull up three trays in total here, okay? Okay. Um, as we go along, there's a mixture of vintage to modern to, at the end, we're going to get to a little part of, on top tier of the last trays or some sterling pieces. Everything that you're going to see in this segment is $10 and under. Okay. So um, the first, 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 first person in the chat to say want after Joe puts it in the chat, we'll get that item. Okay. So we go pretty fast. Make sure you keep refreshing. I know some of you have a lag, so we're going to try to be fair to everybody, see how this all pans out. Hopefully everybody finds something they like, okay? So I'm going to put that in the chat. We're going to do buy it now section. Any questions? I hope hope that makes sense to everybody. Yeah, I, think I think you've done this before on many channels, so it's not, you know, a big deal. So hopefully you guys will understand, Okay. So we go pretty fast. Jenny's channel. I'm going to give you all of the information, hopefully prior to what you need. We say to, before you don't have to stop and ask me questions. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. And thank all of you for being here. Don't forget to, forget to give me a thumbs up. Keeps me energized. <laughs> 17 inch vintage Sarah Coventry choker gold tone. Let me put it on the neck. Hold on, let me make a couple things around here. Let me come back to this because I know the camera likes me, but I want to show the jewelry, not me. I mean, I don't like that, but all right, let's zoom. Okay. Here we go. Buy it now. Six dollars. Did you lose it, Joe? <laughs> Hold on, I'm putting it in. He just I got, I got. You got it now? Yeah. There you go. Kathy wants it. Okay, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> Joe lost a little of the internet just there. <laughs> All right. Kathy wants it. 
Oh, I got it. And bear with me as I'm going through this because I have to put in a little description so my lovely husband can put it in the invoices. <laughs> Otherwise, he's waking me up at three in the morning, which I don't appreciate too much. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. All right, next. This is acrylic. You only need four hours of sleep. What oh, you come on. You know, <laughs> not when I work in the emergency room anymore. Oh. Then. All right, this has a nine and a half inch drop, but overall 12 and a half to the bottom of the medallion. Hold on. Now I got too zoomed in. Now I got to go zoom out. Just acrylic, a really cool piece. Oh, there we go. Buy it now, eight. Regina wants that. Okay. Thank you, Regina. I put brown and blue. That's That's, you. Does that work for you? Yep. All right. I can All right. There you go. Next. This is a long one. Let me measure it. Mm, 17 inch drop, so 34 inches long. We've got mother of pearl shell and kind of a gunmetal base metal cha cha. I call it almost like a cha cha necklace. Maybe not that way. There you go. Buy it now. Six. You got colors like the mother of pearl. You got the, some like a gray to green. All right, I'm dropping it. Four. No. Okay. One more. Oops, Kathy. Kathy wants it? Okay, Kathy. You got it. Pearl, gunmetal, necklace. I said cool. four. Did yeah. I write prices? Hopefully I'm the last one I did. Yes. Okay, good. I don't remember what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I do have a couple rings. They're stamp 925, but not 925. Okay. So, oh, that's sterling silver plated that somebody decided to put a 925 mark on, I guess you want to call it. This is a size 6. Ooh. Hold on. 6. Modernistic CZ ring. Buy it now. 4. Nope. Okay. Roberta. Roberta wants it. Okay, Roberta. See, Roberta, I'm always going to be having your back, girlfriend. <laughs> I tried, that poor girl wanted some things last night. And I tried to help her out and get her some things last night. Her internet's slow, so she had to make sure we get her some. <laughs> All right, next. This is just glass and silver plate, but it's wire wrapped. On the safe side, I did do a couple scratch tests of this, okay? I did get it to, and some of the scratch tests, I mean, I did about five readings on this. So out of five readings, I got three that said blue, two that didn't. So I'm not going to call it sterling. That's why I don't, until I get consistency, I'm not going to call it that. If anybody wants this cute little glass wire wrap, possibly sterling, we'll just call it. I'm not going to claim it is, but, you know, four bucks.
Oh, size. Let me get to size. Hold on. I forgot to do that. Um, and Roberta. Roberta wants this too. All right, Roberta, this is about a size five and three quarters. Just let you know. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Ring, Roberta, four dollars. All right, I'll put glass bead. All right, here we go. I have shown this once before, we're gonna show it again. We're very, very inexpensive this time, but you know, my philosophy is that if it goes to a wonderful home, to your grandkids, to your little babies, to your whatever, for yourself, it's better than going into a landfill. That's how I look at it. That's how I look at things and say, what are we going to do with these things? So you're going to get a really good deal for me. This is 20 inches long, acrylic, cha-cha necklace. That's with the extender. That's 20 inches with the extender. Okay. Actually, it's front of my shirt. <laughs> I had it up there. Hold on. So you got the, but this is all acrylic. Okay. Buy it now. Three dollars. Nobody wants my cha-cha, cha-cha going bye-bye, cha-cha. Nobody wants it. Nobody want it for a dollar? Does that find a home? No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on. <laughs> Roberta. Roberta wants it. Okay, Roberta. <laughs> Okay, I got you, Roberta. Thank you, honey. All right, showing this before too, but we're gonna see where we can find this. Okay, here we go. This is, has a 16 inch strap, so 32 inches long. Kind of an Asian bead acrylic. Look at this. Those are acrylic too, not wood. Faux coral. Little hook class. Buy it now, four bucks. Regina wants that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Pair of clip on earrings. Um, they have white enamel flowers and kind of an opalescent rhinestone, but these are acrylic. So I guess I can't really call it rhinestone. Um, rhinestone or actually a acrylic crystal. I don't, what do they call when it's not really? So you kind of have this opalescent and then you have the enamel, white enamel flowers. Very really cute for spring. Gold tone, clip backs. Buy it now, $4 for the pair, of course. Oh, Regina got it. Okay, Regina, sorry, Monica. Oh, I already wanted that pair. <laughs> All right, here we go. Show this again, but I just thought it was cute. I 
I had one previously, sold that one, so I found another one. This is 14 and a half inch drop to the top of the purse to 16 and a half in total length. You have, um, let me see what these are. I think these are, these are acrylic and seed bead. It's a little purse. Well, it kind of has an opalescent. These are acrylic though, they're not glass. Little purse. Kind of a gold tone with little tassel on. I thought it was just so darling. Isn't that cute? Buy it now. Six. Okay. But he wants it. My last drop I'm doing on it. Four. Oh, Kathy, you're going to get it for four. I dropped it. You're going to get it for four. <laughs> Good deal. Okay. Right. Now... These I'm going to do very, very inexpensively. They're both signed Japan, okay? Just acrylic beads, but vintage for sure, okay? Let me get the other neck. I have shown these before, so of course that that means. Jenny's going to do them cheap. Well, that's cheap. No. Acrylic beads. Here's the back. Hook class does say Japan up on the hook. Let me get you a measurement because I know everybody sometimes people need measurements. Hold on. It's a shorty. I'm going to get a true reading on here. I think it's 15 inches, 14, 15 inches. That's the longest it goes. So it is a cut, it's a 15 inch choker. It's still collectible, Japan. Well, I have it messed up, but anyway, if anybody wants this, buy it now. Two bucks. Japan. No? Okay, hold on. Next, another Japan one. Oh, I'll measure this one. I just dropped my pen. This is called, I believe they call these sugar beads. This is longer. This goes down to 21 inches with the extender. Also marked Japan. Let me show you the beads. Hopefully that's in focus. I can't tell. There we go. Acrylic. Mark Japan up on the clasp. Buy it now on these three dollars. Kathy wants them. Kathy, now I'm just gonna put it out here if you want it. So again, you know what I just said about five minutes ago. It's up to you, okay? Would you want this if I throw it? Because I know you like vintage. You want me to throw this one in for you for free? One both. Both for five? five? Okay. Well, I'm going to give them both to you for three. Because <laughs> that's the way I roll. Because that's what I just said, and that's what I'm going to do. So hold on. $3 for Kathy. You're going to give a deal, okay? She said yes. All right. <laughs> You're a good person. <laughs> two, I put two Japan necklaces. That one makes it easy one. Yep. Perfect. All right. We're done with tray number one, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, so, get, a everybody get a sip of water. Take a stretch for a second. Reset, Reset your, refresh your screen. All right. Here we go. What do we got going on here? Okay. 
Hmm. What can I start with on this tray? Okay. We've got earrings and bracelets and necklaces on this tray. All right. Let's remember. One second. This goes with this is the same. Okay. I have, let's see, those are the same too. Okay. I've got some pearl, faux pearl necklaces here. Okay. I got four total, but I'm going to go through them just to let you know this is what I'm going to be showing here in a minute. Okay. Two of them the same length, two are the same length here, but they have different closures. Okay. So let me start. I'm going to start with, you're going to get two of these. Two long ones. These measure. This will be two for one price. 28 inches long for both. You're going to get both. Okay. Buy it now for, you're going to get both of these. Of course, they have vintage barrel clasps. One's a little bit more worn than others, but you're going to get both. If anybody wants these, you're going to get both of them for six bucks. This is, you know, let's get away some homes to everybody. Pearls never go out of style for sure. Okay. What if I throw in two more necklaces to go with it? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> These measure, one has a classic pearl clasp, eight inches drop, and the other one has an eight inch drop too with a fold over clasp. So you're gonna get all four of these, six bucks. I'm not dropping the price. I wanna, you're gonna get everything. Six bucks for everything here. No? Okay. We'll come back to that. <laughs> I have a stretchy bracelet. Glass. Seven and a quarter. Crafty people, you guys to take off the beads and put them in something else. Buy it now for this. Three dollars. No. Nope. I well, I know Linda. I <laughs> Linda pearls never go out of style. If you haven't, if you guys aren't, I know that's not sometimes people like it, but yeah, pearls are definitely in style. And all right. So what I'm gonna start doing here, ladies and gentlemen, if there are things that don't get sold, I'm gonna start a bag. Okay. And then we're gonna start an auction at the end. Okay. From basically highest price gets it. We're gonna keep going here. Well, you guys get the what you want. Pearl and hematite earrings. Buy it now. Four bucks. Genuine pearls and genuine stone. Hematite. Okay. Moving on. We're going to add some collection. We're going to get shown and going. I have a coral. Or excuse me. A, well, a coil. I can't see. Oil, glass, butterfly, bracelet. Oh, you guys see it like this here. <laughs> All glass on a wire. If you want to wear it as a bracelet, this is how it fits on the cone. Some people just, you are crafty, you can use the beads. Buy it now, four bucks. Okay, it's going in the collection. We're going to add it to the bag. Hammered little dingle earrings. $2. Gold tone. Monica wants those. Okay, Monica, you got it, girlfriend. Nice to see you too, by the way.
go to hammered earrings. Okay, Joe gets those. More glass, another stretchy. Have shown this before. What does that mean? You're welcome, honey. Seven and a half inches. Well, actually, it's a little close to seven and three quarters. Look at the glass on this, though. That's cool. Gold tone. Shown this before. Buy it now, three bucks. I think I had it last time at eight. It is stretchy. Okay, it's going in the collection over here. We're going to start a bag. More sh this one is a toggle. This one's got fruit on it. Seven and a half inches long, glass. Lamp work, I guess you want to call it lamp work beads and some of these with the little uh, fruit. I think I'm going to turn tie ways. Anyway, if anybody's interested in this, four bucks. Sushi. Sushi. Oh, yes, that's right. We did go over this last time. Sushi. Somebody yeah. said it was sushi. Thank you, Jenny. Jenny. Jenny told me it was sushi. I'm not a sushi aficionado, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, you do remember. You did tell me that. All right. You love sushi? Well, do you want a bracelet? You can eat it. No. no don't. <laughs> don't eat it. <laughs> All right. We're putting it in the bag. We're passing on that. We're moving on. Next, another stretchy. This is six and a quarter glass. All different types of glass on here. Hold on. Whoa. Hold on. Having a moment. There we go. Yeah, greens and blues and pinks and purples. The one that has an eye looking at you. Satin purple. Anyway, all colors of glass. If you're a crafter, you can redo it. Otherwise, it's ready to go for about a six and a quarter inch wrist. Buy it now, four dollars. Okay, we're gonna pass on that. We're adding it to the bag. Oh, found another strand of pearls, but this one's got rhinestones on it. This measures. Well, this has an extender, so hold on a minute. Fifteen inches long, but it has a two and a half inch extender, so seven up to seventeen and a half inches in length. Got a little bling on here. Let me see. Oh, well, I got right there. Cute little one. This is sweet. Like <laughs> so, you got the rhinestones. And you got the faux pearl. Buy it now, six. Okay, it's going in the bag with the other pearls. Oh, Kathy. Oh, Kathy. All right. Kathy gets it. Okay. Thank you, Miss Kathy. All right, what else do we have here? I showed this before. Glass bead, genuine turquoise and amethyst, chevron amethyst. This measures 16 inches long. 
barrel clasp. One second, let me get it back in. Well done. So you got the seed bead, little glass beads, you got the turquoise, and then you got the chevron amethyst here. Buy it now, four bucks. Monica wants it. Thank you, Monica. Somebody wants to be working late today. Me? No. Oh. Well, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. My son's still at work. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All right, here we go. What's next? Um, oh, I've shown this again. Art glass. Oh, I know. Come on, the camera doesn't like the camera very well, do you? It's your blouse. It's my blouse. Let's see what size this is. It's oval shaped, so let me see if I can try to get a size. This is about seven to seven and a quarter. Uh, clamper. It's a clamper. Yeah, here. here. So did you say seven to seven and a quarter? Oh, here. There you go. About that. Okay. It's a clamper. Opens up. Buy it now. Six bucks. There we go. Now you can see it. Less. Okay. It's going in the bag. All right. Here we go. Um, got one more necklace, I think, left on here, and I'll do some earrings. Showing this before. This is unique. These are um, ceramic beads done on silk. Let me get your length. Barrel, twist, barrel clasp. 18 inches long. Let me put it up on the display here. Is it pretty? Try to give you guys close up shots when I can do it. My desk, the way it is. Anybody wants this again? Silk cord, ceramic beads, really pretty pattern on the beads. Buy it now. Five bucks. I'm doing. I'm doing really stuff cheap today. <laughs> nope. Okay, it's going in the back. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to earrings next. In here. Rhinestone feather earrings. These have um, lever back backings, brass tone, two and a half inches long, rhinestone. Buy it now. Seven. They have the lever backs. Okay, going in the bag. I'm not claiming these to be Murano glass, but they sure look like it to me. I'm not a glass expert, but they look like it to me. These measure um, one and a half inches long. They're kind of have a red background with the gold there you go now you can see them foil inside buy it now four okay going in the bag 
These are still an original card. Swarovski Crystal. I know my accent sounds really bad when I say that. <laughs> Savvy brand. I think this is circa 1980s, early 90s, I'm going to guess. Like it still has the original price on it. Of 10. I'm not doing it for 10. We're going to do a buy it now. Four. Monica wants those. Okay, Monica, you got it. <laughs> You'll get them on the card. I'll make sure I'll put keep card for Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah, he yeah, he knows. Um, Debbie, Krista, Marquis, Purple, Earrings. Okay, got that. I wish it was five o'clock right now, but I'm not a martini drinker, but these are really cute little rhinestone. <laughs> Dangle earrings. <laughs> Those cute. Buy it now on these. Oh, I don't know. Five. Great for uh, New Year's Eve. Yeah, I want the are martinis. Well, I don't know. They've got little are they blueberry. I don't know. Is that a mart? Is that be or just a cocktail in general? I don't know. All right, going to the back. <laughs> Start a bag. All right, now these kind of a. <laughs> I found these in in the box, but I found they were really cute. You guys remember the character Garfield, the cat. Little pierced earrings. Two bucks. Hey, T. How are you? My sis is here. <laughs> Two dollars for Garfield. <laughs> I know it's not everybody. I go from glass beads and, and gold to Garfield. This is weird. This is just, but I had to get them. These are so cute. All right, they're going in the bag. <laughs> and T, make sure you share your channel, honey. If you haven't checked out T's channel, she has her sales. Usually any either, well, she's working on her schedule, but I think it's going to be, she usually does them at, I think it's uh, 6 my time. So 4 p.m. Pacific time on Saturdays, but she's going to either every Saturday, every other Saturday. All right. These are, actually, I think these are marked. Hold on. Rope style. These are money. Hold on. Let me look. Don't worry, I thought these had a mark on them. These might be signed. Yes, they are. They are signed Monet. Clip earrings, yellow tone, oh, excuse me. Monet, vintage, silver tone, rope. Let me take one off. This is not working. Earrings. They measure about an inch. Okay, Monet. Buy it now, six. Nice condition on these. Very nice condition. Okay, going in the bag. Going in the back. We go in the back. We're gonna go in the back. <laughs> Joe will have to take the cards off <laughs> once we sell the stuff in the bag. <laughs> All right, here we go. More little cute little earrings. Acrylic, kind of a little flower design. Ready? Hold on your hats, everybody. One dollar. Nope, going in the bag. I'm stacking up the bag. That's what we're gonna do. 
See, I'm taking that from you. Uh, uh, Regina. Regina wants them. Okay, Regina, you got it, girl. Okay, that's Regina. Next, you're going to get two on one card. That's the way I roll here. <laughs> that's the way I do things. You're going to get these. Ooh. That's finding my shirt more than anything. Kind of the rainbow rhinestone surrounded by the clear rhinestone. I don't know what who makes these. Let me take one off. It does have a nice uh, pattern on the back. Then you're going to get the clear rhinestone dangles. Both pairs on this. Buy it now. Eight. Regina wants those. Okay, Regina. Oh, so anyway, as getting back to my sis T, who's here now, um, if you're not familiar with her channel, um, T is a personal trainer out in California, and I call her my sister from another mother. She's the sweetest thing since sliced bread. I love her to death. Um, please check out her channel. Um, she has some really cool things. I'm just trying to think yeah. and write at the same time. <laughs> Two pairs of earrings. Okay, he'll he'll figure this out. Um, so yeah, she usually does her sales on Saturday evenings. Um, depending on where you guys are in the country, she's four p.m. Pacific because I'm six p.m. When I watch her, it's six p.m. Central, so it'll be seven p.m. Eastern. <laughs> I feel like I need the TV guide to figure out what everybody's schedule. <laughs> All right. So anyway, but yeah, she's the sweetest thing. You guys got to check her out. All right, this one you're gonna get three pairs. Three. three. Three pairs of earrings. Here we go. So we have kind of the cluster balls at the top. You got the pave silver tone, and then you got the yellow gold tone. These are the backs. All three pairs. Here we go. Eight bucks. Okay, it's going in the bag. Next, another cut. Now I get two for two for one in here. These are actual rhinestone here. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to make them look pretty so you guys can see them. So you kind of have the champagne rhinestone, and then you've got a straight clear baguette. Buy it now for both. You get this everything on the card. Five. Okay, going in the bag. Little long, this is acrylic though. Oh. Hold on a minute. I'm going to test this real quick. Yep. All right. So you have glass rhinestone and acrylic on these chandelier. I don't see what we call them. Well, they dangle, they're long. Two and three quarter inches long. You guys are seeing this, so then I'll take one off. Got a vintage -y. Okay, let me take one off. There you go. Buy it now for the pair. Four dollars.
There's the other one. Okay, it's going in the bag. Going in the bag. These are hammered silver tone earrings, not sterling. Backs. Buy now, four bucks. Okay, I don't see anything. Moving on, man. All right, tray number two is done. Moving on, the last tray. Does anybody take a stretch, refresh your page? We're on a lap. <laughs> We're getting there. I got 22 people here and 22 thumbs up. I am so happy about that. How cool is that? <laughs> so cool, so cool. All right, here we go. We have some, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, this is a clamper, oval shape. So I don't know if I'm going to get a true size on it. It's about two and a half inches inside diameter. Approximately, this is, again, this is on a cone, so it's not going to fit like specifically, but you got um, rhinestone. Look at all the rhinestones in here. Kind of a gunmetal colored rhinestone. That's what it looks like off. I have shown this before, didn't have interest, so we'll see if we can, when he likes it today, I'm lowering the price. Buy it now, six. Okay, it's going in the bag. <laughs> this is uh, vintage fold over class gold tone link chain with has dangled um, Hold on one second, I'll tell you in a minute. I think it's Jasper because they don't have a fake nose. I'm calling them Jasper because Jasper is opaque. Let me get you a link. Seven and a half inches long. There you go. And you got the dangle Jasper pieces. There's the vintage fold over class. Buy it now. $3. Monica wants that. Okay, Monica, you got it. <laughs> okay. And that was Monica H for three, right? All right. Perfect. All right, moving on. There's a necklace in here. I have shown this before again, but here we go. Vintage clip earrings or pins. Mm, what's left? I do have vintage clip earrings, Monica. I just don't know him. I, I will show I don't have them on my buy it nows, but I will show you them after we're done with this. I have both. They're just not on my buy it now segment here. I'm just looking at the tray. But I'll, I'll give you some just decent deals. You know that. 14 inch drop plus a two inch pendant with a three and a half inch extender. Geode. If you're not familiar with what a geode is, this is what they, this is uh, agate. And then you'll find gemstones that form in big, long shapes in these things in the ground. This is just a little version of one. I believe this is like a 24 karat plated thing that you got going on here with the top of it. Anyway, if anybody wants this, buy it now, five bucks. It's a long chain though. Comes on this big, long necklace.
Okay, going in the bag. Anybody have a little daughter or baby on the way that's going to be a girl charm bracelet? Now here, seven and three quarter inches long. Has a safety pin, has the diapers, has the bottle, has all this fun stuff. A little rocking horse. I must be missing a charm, so we're going to do a deal on this. $2. Or you can repurpose the charms and put it on something else. Okay, not going in the bag. Rhinestone, stretchy bracelet. It's about six and a half inches long. All clear rhinestone, stretchy. Buy it now, six. Okay, going in the bag. Here we go, shell, stretchy bracelet, seven inches long. All genuine shell, shown this before, even at full price. Buy it now today, it's gonna be $4. Going in the bag. We've got, we've got a lot going in this bag. I haven't even got the bag out yet, but I decided to do it. All right, here we go. Clamper. Not marked or signed, but cute. I liked it. Kind of a disc bracelet. It opens up, but it's probably for about a seven-inch wrist. Buy it now, $3. Going in the bag. Cuff hammer bracelet. Probably about a seven and a half inch. Nice condition. Buy it now six. Oh, okay. Going to the back. Sea glass and freshwater pearls, genuine pearls on here. Leather cord. Six and, well, I'll, say I'll call it a six and three quarter, possibly go up to about a seven. Blue sea glass, freshwater pearl. Buy it now, seven. And these are nice big large pearls here too. Not if you can always if you don't like it, you can repurpose it and do something else with it. Going in the bag. Hand painted vintage wood cuff. Or actually bangle. Sorry, use the wrong bangle. Flowers. This is a larger one. This is from, I'd say, eight and a half. Yeah, it's about eight and a half. Here, I'll show you on the phone. Sorry, I should tell you guys what it is, huh? Well, maybe a little eight and a quarter, eight and a half. Regina was. I haven't. Okay, Regina, I haven't get this one. This was gonna be um, five. Is that okay with you? I didn't get you a price. <laughs> five dollars, Regina. Is this one you're talking about? Yeah, okay. We're getting it for five. And thank you all of you for being here and being patient as I'm going through all this. You yep, got some inventory to get through. We gotta get through this inventory. We're gonna give you a big deal in a bag at the end. Vintage um, acrylic with safety chain. Shown this before. Oh, 
opens up like that. Slot class with the safety. So probably for a seven inch wrist, I'd say. A little oval shape. Buy it now, $4. Regina wants that. Okay, Regina. Sorry, Monica. Sorry, Monica. Congrats, Regina. Yeah, congratulations, everybody. Black vintage black bangles. Or pinch bangles. Four dollars. Okay. And then let's see. One last cuff and then we'll move on to some sterling pieces here at the top. Um, I'm not a knot expert, but I believe that this might be a Celtic knot of some sort. Brass and copper. Um, it's about seven and a half inches in diameter. Or for the wrist, I mean. Brittany's wanting this. Three dollars. Monica wants it. Okay, Monica. You got it, girl. Okay, three dollar cuff for Monica each. Okay. There you go. All right, now we're at the sterl. Wait, I got one last bracelet. It was, it was Heidi. Yep. <laughs> this is petite. <laughs> it's a seven inch, oh, seven and a quarter inch. Ooh. Little, I want this is gold filled. Let me look. I don't know. Mm. It just has S. N on it. Um, so I'm going to call it gold plated. But I did test the stones in their nephrite jade. So that's where it is. They're cute little beads of nephrite jade. Hold on. Okay. Buy it now. Three dollars. Monica wants that. Okay. Sorry, Regina. You and Monica are playing flip flop. <laughs> okay. This is from Monica for three. All right. Now I'm at the sterling section. So everybody got to take one with a quick stretch, refresh your page. I go relatively quick. I don't have a lot, but I do have some new things on here. And the things I've shown before, we're gonna mark down. So let's get this rock and roll. You everybody ready? Here we go. Rose gold vermeil, lever back. Let me measure these earrings. Scroll work design, I'd say inch and a quarter in the length. Sterling silver vermeil with the rose gold. Buy it now, 10. Okay. Pass on that. What's the one in the back? Going in the back. All right, I'm gonna put those in the back. Okay, we'll hold on to those. Joe says no. <laughs> we'll put other things in the back. <laughs> All right, sterling silver, AB glass, and really, 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 really pretty amethyst beads. Very, very dark. I want to make get this behind something. Thank <laughs> you. 
I would hopefully you guys are seeing the quality of the amethyst. Here, let me grab a pen light. Hold on. Oh, drop the thing on the floor. There you go, Luke. It went behind my foot, I think, honey. Look. These are gorgeous amethysts. They're really deep color. So there you go. Nice quality. Nice luster on the stones. All right. That being said, buy it now $10. And sterling silver hooks. Regina wants those. Okay, Regina, you got it. Okay, I'm sorry. And Regina, those probably would look really pretty too with all your glass beads you love. So okay. All right. Those are for Regina. Okay. Um, glass, hand wire wrapped, pendant, no chain. This is gold stone, like a gold stone. Has a sparkly glass. I've shown this before. Might not show up on screen, but let's just have some sparkle to it. There you go. It's your birthstone ridge. Awesome. Cool. I'm glad we made it happen for you. All right, if anybody's interested in this pendant, buy it now, six bucks. Sterling silver though. You If you're a crafter or just put on a chain, hell, you can give it to a guy. If a guy's kind of an artsy guy, he probably would wear this too. It's black. Nope, okay. Next. Italy, three inches long, approximately, dangle diamond cut earrings. Okay. Now, some of them you might have to do a little. This is how I got them. So, of course, you might have to do it. They do bend. I just don't want to do it too much. But we try to straighten them as much as we can. That's why they're $10 right now versus maybe more. <laughs> what do you pay retail? <laughs> Well, that, I'm going to just do a quick drop, eight, just because of it, weight shape, in case you guys want it. Okay, pass. I have some moonstone in sterling silver. Um, Let's see, these measure... Inch and three quarter inch long. Buy it now. Hold on, let me get this close so you guys can see it. Why am I having so much problem today? The camera's on you. There. Cover me up and you can look at the earrings. That's what. Hold <laughs> on. Oh, Let me zoom in. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in. There you go. <laughs> there, finally. <laughs> Now, these would have some interesting looking wires on them. I'm just saying because they are probably, you know, I'm going to guess probably made in India or some type of thing like that, the way that they're shaped like that, all handmade. Buy it now, $8. Okay. 
Anybody looking for a cute little pair of sterling hoops? Buy it now. Ten. I think these are. Let me take a look. I don't think it's Italian. Let me check it out. No, let's just say nine two five. So, nope, if I drop them to eight, anybody interested in that? Okay, I'm moving on. Two more pairs and I'll be done with this sterling section. This is something new, I have not shown these before. These are uh, synthetic blue spinel and sterling silver stud earrings. Really pretty color. Buy it now, $8. Cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. No? Okay, we're moving on. Last pair, in case anybody's looking for a pair of CZ studs. These are in rose gold vermeil. I'll do these for eight as well. These are in like the rose gold. Okay. All righty. Now. Everything I did not sell, which is right here on this tray, except for my sterling. I'm keeping the sterling because I can scrap that. <laughs> okay. All the things I did not sell, all the costume pieces, I will, of course, put them in a bag, put them out to you if you guys are interested. I'm going to start the bidding on this lot. If anybody wants this, start the bidding. You got all these things in here. Okay. I get a good deal. $15. Roberta's in for 15. Thank you, Miss Roberta. You'd be looking for a bid of 16 or more. Nope. All right. Oh, Monica's in for 16. Regina's for 20. Regina's in for 20. Thank you, Miss Regina. You guys remember what everything was in here? I think you should remember. I want to know. Looking for a bit of 22 or more in case anybody's interested. I'm not looking. Roberta's in, Roberta's in for 22. Thank you, Miss Roberta. And Regina's in for 25. Regina's in for 25. Thank you, Miss Regina. Monet, glass, pearls, the sushi bracelet. <laughs> Rhinestone earrings, the glass. Sushi you can't eat. Yes. Four strands of pearls. Four strands of pearls. All right. Yes, everybody's still thinking. I'm going to up the ante if anybody's interested, okay? Hold on. It's heavy. A couple of things I can throw in there. I'm working on it. I'm going to throw in the sterling silver pendant. Sterling silver CZ studs. Mm. What else can I? Hmm. 
Oh, these? Mm -hmm. And the sterling silver dangle earrings. Roberta's in for 27. Thank you, Miss Roberta. Regina's in for 35. You want me to keep adding? <laughs> I will keep adding if you guys are interested. I will. It's up to you guys. Out to Regina. Okay, Roberta's out to Regina. What about you, Monica? How are you feeling, love? Monica's out. Okay. I'm going to call this um, down for Regina at $35 for the whole lot of things here. And five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Regina. Thank you so much. Helps clear out inventory and you're going to get some good deals. All right. Let's see. 35 for the what? Oh, jewelry. All right. All right. So Joe's just going to get the box. <laughs> Yay. All right. I got some work to do. Now, <laughs> let me come back to the camera. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, over there participating here. Um, still have 18 people in the chat. Thank you so much for all of you being here. That was fun and exciting. Um, let me come back this way. Um, so now I do, Monica wanted me to show her some brook pins and clip earrings, if I remember right, yes, correct? Vintage. Yes. Okay. Let me pull things out. No moment. <laughs> I'm going to pull up. I haven't shown these in a while. <sighs> Okay, let me come back. It's okay, honey. All right, let me come down here. I'm going to try to show you this tray, okay? Let's see what I got here, and then I will give you information on it. To the right. Down. Oh, sorry, back up a little bit to my camera. There we go. All right. I'm going to try to go over this as quick as I can with you guys. So I still have the vintage clip faux amber earrings. I still have this uh, blue lace agate made in USA, sterling silver, partially per the... Um, Part of it's sterling, the other part is not. I have to look at the notes. I have some Akoya Pearl screwbacks. I have the Chatoyant Glass set. It's a necklace and earring set. I'll, I have the Mother of Pearl screwbacks. I have the Frog. Vintage sterling silver and turquoise frog screwbacks. Um, these are Monet, little serpentine link chain clips. I have these are pierced ears. I think these are um, they the Napier or Nut Monet red enamel. I have the pierced Napier. T's gotta go do taxes. Oh, have fun with that, T. <laughs> I wish you luck. I, my head hurt after I went and got, and Joe did all the thinking. Because <laughs> I don't think about that stuff. Screwback shrimp earrings. These are um, clip with the little tensions. I have the 1928. I have a couple pairs of 1928 um, pieces. These are pierced. Well, this is jade. And then the rose quartz, 1928. 
And then I have other Pierce ones at the bottom here. So um, since I, those are those, okay, this is tray here and I'll go more detail. This other tray I have out, I do have some vintage clips, rhinestone. So there's some clip ones on here, some Pierce ones on here, art glass and rhinestone. Is there, I mean, I'm kind of just showing you guys, you know, let me give you close up as much as I can. can. I will give you information. Anything off tray one? This is tray, tray I'm gonna two. call this tray one here with the rhinestone pieces and the art glass. I have Sorelli, still have the Sorelli pieces in here. Art glass from the original designer in uh, Atlanta. Oh, this one came, oh, fell down. Oh. It's got the long chain. It's got the long chain. This is pretty. I like this one. It's not sterling, but I love art glass. You guys know that. I like the art glass. Okay. So let's see that. And then this was tray number two. I'm back to these. So I have an opalite in here. I've got some turquoise matrix stones. I've got sterling, turquoise, zuni. Again, I, I'm here for you. So hopefully, Monica, do you see anything here you want me to go into detail on? And thanks, T, for coming in, honey. I hope you have a good day, hon. All right. I'm going to wait for an answer. I'm going to kind of go through some things. Brooches. I'll bring out brooches next just to, so you can have a show on that to look at that. Let's see. She said she really can't see that. You can't see it well. Okay. Well, let's see if I can do go it. Go through the tree. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Pull them up individually. Let's just pull them up individually here. Okay, now well, we got the art glass, the acrylic glass made by BB's Brilliant Glass in Atlanta, Georgia. Got that. This is the art glass pendant, not sterling, but in really cool colors. This one is signed by a Florida designer. These are sterling silver. This is from. Um, H and J Mackey. They're out, I believe, out of South Florida. They're a husband and wife team that do handmade uh, glass, artisan glass. Zoom in. Oh, I mean, I'm trying to hold it and do the same thing. Can't exactly do one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. <laughs> All right, and then this sign on the back. H and B. H and B J Mackey. Okay, Sterling. Next. A B Borealis clip earrings and glass. I hope I'm not too close because not everybody's looking at my shirt. <laughs> These are the Sorelli. Is this better now that I'm showing them up close? I hopefully you guys are seeing this. These are antique, well, let's say um, antique finish. Those are the older um, collectible Sorellis versus the new ones. I think they call this the Happy Birthday series. Um, Leverback, rhinestone, glass, clips. Here's some clips here. Clear rhinestone. Whoa. There you go. Kind of a, now I don't know what these are, but these kind of have the, um, I don't know if these are Juliana. I'm not claiming them to be, 
but they do have the prong settings very similar to what they what that designer did. Clipbacks, kind of a brown amber color. Then I have the long green and clear crystal earrings, pierced ears. This is blue and white rhinestone, pierced ears. Red. Long dangle ones, red cone crystal. Then I've got the red and white clips here. Red and clear clips, I should say. Okay. So anything off of that tray, this first tray, let me zoom back out again. And then I'll go to tray number two in a minute. Let me work with one tray at a time or I get messed up. <laughs> okay. Let me show you all that. And it, green clips. Okay, Regina. There's green clips for Regina. I'll put the, anything else I want to pull? Pink one. Which one? Oh, these Sorelli's. Okay. Oh. I just back down. That good? All right, I'll start with those two. We'll come back. All right. Let me find my information. All clips. All cl okay, all clips. All right, I'll pull all the clips. We'll just go through all the clips. Let me just pull them all off of here, and then we'll go through them. Okay. All right. Vintage green. I don't think these glow. Did you bring me my light? No. Hold on. These are green. Rhinestone and Aurora Borealis clip earrings. They measure one inch in diameter. Let me see if they glow. Hold on. No. Well, turn this one off for a second. I don't think they do. This one's going to be blinded. No. No glow. Oof. Told you. Sorry. Ten seconds. <laughs> Sorry, we had turned the lights on. I was checking to see if they glowed. Anyway, if anybody's interested in these, um, these are going to be, I'm going to lower the price on these. We're going to start these at $18. By, uh, we're going to do a, a starting bid on these. These are starting bid auction. But if you're lowering a bid, you're going to get a deal. Regina's in for 18. Thank you, Miss Regina. You're looking for a bit of 19 or more. Okay, I'm gonna count these down for Regina then. In five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Miss Regina. Thank you, ma'am. I did. I originally did those at at twenty six, so I dropped them down. Oh well. No, I said. Well, actually, she didn't. She didn't mark the sold yet, dear. Yes, I did. After she put nineteen in. No, I put that in before. I put sold. Look, Regina eighteen sold at eighteen. Oh, and my name is different. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's, okay. I'm sorry, Miss Monica. Apparently, you were just a little too late. Yep. So, fortunately, we can't go back. Let's see if we can find another pair for you. I'll go. I'll go slow this time because of the lag. Maybe that might help you. <clears throat> All right. This is <clears throat> a pair. <laughs> I 
Clip earrings, three row, clear rhinestone. <clears throat> you want, Regina, you want Monica to have them? I want everybody to be happy here. <clears throat> you sure, Regina? I just want to make sure. <clears throat> Monica, do you want them, honey? For 18, I'll give them to you for 18 if you want them. Because Regina's get, passing them. Okay, she does. Okay. Thank you, Miss Regina. <clears throat> Who's her voice? Oh, Thank you, got ladies, for being nice to one another. I appreciate that. All right, so that goes to Monica. Paying it forward. I like that. <laughs> Monica H. All right. Thank you, Miss Regina. All right, clear rhinestone clips, not signed. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do them real close up. Everybody's gonna get a headache now for me. All right, this is really close up. But it works. Start bid on these sixteen dollars. I had them at twenty-two. They measure one inch long clips. Silver tone. Okay, won't pass on those. All right, next, let's go here. The Sorelli's retired. So they have a pink rhinestone, yellow, orange, and teal cushion cut. Let me show you the backs. Let me take one off. They measure one inch long. Sorelli. Brass, original backs. Okay. I had these at 48. We're dropping them to a start bid today. 34. They're retired pieces. Go price Sorelli. If you're not even heard of Sorelli, it's S O R R E L L I. Um, Wait, she fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Regina. We got you, girl. <laughs> Appreciate the donation. <laughs> Can't take it like that. You're welcome. All right. All right. I'd be looking for a bid since we're over 20, be 36 or more in case anybody's interested. I'm going to count these down then for Regina in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Regina. I'm trying to go slow. <laughs> it's hard for me to go slow. <laughs> Thank you, Regina. Beautiful earrings. All right. You got a deal on those, girl. All right. Next. Um, let's see. I need to find the here. More red and clear rhinestone clips. Oh, sorry, sorry for giving you guys a headache way up close. We also can see the detail. Prong set. Yellow tone clip backs. I'll take one off so you guys can see. They're on the card, so give me a minute. 
I just gotta, they're stuck. There we go. There's the back. These are a start bid. I had these at tw Show the back once again. Oh, show the back. Here you go. Where's the back? Okay. There's the back. Unsigned, not signed. They're one inch long. Are you guys seeing that clip? Yes. Okay. They're starting these today, $22. Here's the other one. You can see them both at the same time. I might put them back on the card. Okay. Are you ladies interested if I give you a quick price drop on these? I will do so. 18. And that's as much as I can go on them. 18. No? Okay, we'll pass on them. All right. Next pair of clips. Again, let me tell one off so you can see it. This is what they look like. Well, let me show them on the card first. Prong set. Here's the backs. Pull one off. Here's the back. So partially closed, partially open. Kind of a crescent shape to these. I'm not a jewelry costume expert. I don't know. I didn't show these to Jason, but so what I'm going to do what I need to do. One and a quarter inches long. Silver tone. Starting bid on these. I'm doing these at 28. They may be something good. I don't know. You guys might know more than I do. <laughs> I just want to give you guys good deals. That's what I want to do. Okay, I'll pass on those. And that's it for the clips on here. This tray, let's see what I got for next. All right, anything else before I move on? Just so I'm clear, nothing off more off this for pier steers. Hold on, let me zoom out. Then I'm going to move on to the next tray. Nope. nope. Okay. One second. Okay. That's um, sterling. You want sterling clips? I got some sterling stuff in the next tray. I'll get there. Hold on. I gotta find a place for this. <laughs> All right. There. All right. Let me get my clips. All right. Clips. All right, Monica. You want sterling. Let's see what I got here. First tray signed ones. Okay, that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm showing you right now. <laughs> How do I know that's exactly what you're gonna ask me for? Um okay, here we go. Blue lace agate. 
Genuine stone, sterling. However, when I acid tested the backs, the clip section, not sterling. This is the signature. Well, one of them, this one says 925. Here we go, the zoom again. Hold on, I'm gonna zoom it. Nine two five electroformed. Okay. There's a close up of the stone. Beautiful blue agate. This one has a signature on it though. It's... Come on. I cannot read that signature for the life of me. I would not. Me either way. There you go. There is a sign there. Okay. Now, had these for a hot minute. They weigh, if you put them on the scale, 27.15 grams. Again, part of it is metal that's not sterling, however, but they're decent weight earrings. Okay, now she says for pierced on the other tray. Okay, well. If anybody wants these, I'm starting bid on these. $27. Dollar a gram. A dollar a gram. Sign piece. Made in USA. No, these aren't pierced, Linda. But you could you could probably take them to the jeweler and take this part off and have them making a pierced earrings. But these are genuine stone. This like I said everything this part here, the clip back is not sterling, but the rest of it is. I tested it. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> If you're going to do pierce, though, Linda, you may want to have them put an omega. If you don't like the, they may be, maybe they can utilize what's here. I don't know, but I would put an omega back on them, like uh, uh, ones that you can put the post through, because they are a little bit weighty. Okay, I'm going to pass on those. Now, what is she? Let me let me go through one tray at a time because I get confused. <laughs> All right, next, clip um, Akoya Pearls. These are not sterling, but genuine Akoya Pearls. 6.9 to 7 millimeter Akoya Pearls. Okay, they're not sterling. If anybody wants the Akoya Pearls screwbacks, Start bid 12 bucks. I'm lowering these. I had these for a long time. We're getting, we're not going to find homes. Go price pearls down. Pearls have gone through the roof for prices if you haven't followed pearl prices. Because when COVID hit, pearl farms, well, that's probably 80% of the pearl farms that were out there during COVID. Okay, we're moving on. Write that down. I didn't remember where I was at. Let's see. Do we still want to I'm gonna keep going here? This is um screw back shell earrings. Found these, these are kind of pretty. Are they signed a koya? They're not no a koya is a type of pearl, Monica. Like um, if you know Mickey Moto. Mickey Moto is the designer that made Akoya. It's a type of pearl that comes from Japan. So no, they're not signed Mickey Moto. No, but and they're not sterling either. But they are Akoya pearls. It's like you know when you know you know pearls. You know by looking at them, the luster, the age. This this biggest thing for Akoya pearls is the symmetry and the luster. If they're Mickey Moto, they do. Mickey Moto does sign their pieces, yes. But this is not signed Mickey Moto, no. 
Yeah. These are signed silver, though, but they're not sterling. So they might be a lower curatage of silver. Here, I'll show you the back. Right in the cup there, it says silver. But when I tested them, they're not sterling. So they may be like 800 silver. They might be, so, you know, look, they're just not sterling when you do the scratch test. Crazy May's in the house. Hey, Crazy May. How are you? And hi, Kirsten. <laughs> Again. So, yeah, these are, you know, Akoya pearls, signed silver, not sterling. And I'm starting them at 12 bucks. I'm losing my mind, quite honestly. I mean, 6.9 to 7 millimeter pearls here. Yep. All right, we're moving on. Now, let's see. What else can I show in here? Oh, if any of you wanted the Black Mother Pearls, I'm starting these at eight. I'm dropping these. These aren't sterling either, but these are shell, like Mother of Pearl. Nope. So these will be eight. I've had the next pair for a while. Let me get you those. Let's see, where are the... What I do with the frog? Oh, here are the frog earrings. My Navajo frog earrings. <laughs> Maybe you can find a home somewhere today. These are actually sterling, and they're frogs. Okay. They are stamped. Well, here's what they look like. So you got the little frogs, they're cute. They have the screw backs. And they are stamped and tested sterling. Old block lettering. 5.37 grams. They measure three quarters of an inch long. This is how they would go on your ear, just like this. Start bid, $30. Okay, right. we're well, moving on. All right. Let me come back to the to the tray and let me make this go faster because I think I don't want to be wasting anybody's time not showing what I have here. So let's do that. So in here are some of the earrings I have. Okay. So what's left in this tray, this is tray number two. I've got some rice pearl, cloisonne, sterling silver, dangles, cor coral, turquoise, zuni. Turquoise, cinnabar, I forgot the name, coral in this, there's a name of this nut, it's a nut <laughs> from a tree. I have opal, inlay opal, and these are, these are what I'm talking about, Linda, when you said omega backs, they're going to, you can always do that with the post and the backs on them, help stabilize the ear. Opalite. Okay, sand dollar sterling, and then I have the matrix turquoise with purple. And then <clears throat> what I started with up at the top before. Anything here that beats their fancy? Then I'm moving on. Okay. All right, now she wanted me to go back to the last tray. Is that right? <laughs> okay, let me go back to the other tray. Pierced on the other tray. Pierced on the other tray. Okay, rhinestone. Okay. Okay, this is this. Okay, 
Let's see. These are my long ones, three and a half inches long. Green and clear rhinestone. These are vintage. These are the backs. I have newer backs on them to help with the weight. Third on the top when you get a chance. Okay. And these are start bid. I'm dropping these. I had them at 38. We're dropping them to 28. Think Christmas ahead of time <laughs> or St. Patrick's Day is around the corner. You'd be all about this on St. Patrick's Day. Okay, I'm going to skip that and that third from the top. Third on the top. All right. Hold on. She wants the sterling silver ones. The necky, yep. All right. Here we go. Ones I went over there here. <clears throat> Let me grab my post it. I can't. Uh oh, you guys start, are you losing the screen? There we go. All right, so this is from again, like I said, H and B J Mackey. It's dichroic glass, sterling silver. They're designers, their husband and wife team out of Florida. These, you can Google them, do some search on them, but it's Harry and BJ Mackey is the name of the couple. His name is Harry, her name is BJ. Link. Mackey. Um, I don't have a link, but I don't let me measure. Mm, inch and a half. One and a half. Here's a stamp. They they. This is what they did. They've signed their name on the back. Hold on. I'm trying to get the focus for you. H and B J Mackey, sterling silver. Okay. Starting bid, thirty. And they have sterling silver posts. Or um, backs, I mean. Very pretty. Really unique. Very different. Nope. Okay. All right. And what else do we want to look at? All the rest of the rhinestone, too? Um, if anybody wants some blue baguette, are they, are they heavy? Um, They weigh nine grams total. Do you want me to put them on? <laughs> Here. I'll put them on. I'll tell you what they are. Let me put them on for you. I can tell you right away, um, my answer would be no, but I'm going to show them to you on my hair, on my, <laughs> on my head. They're not heavy. No. Let me put them up. You have weak ears? They're not heavy, Monica, no. I mean, the other, like, for example, the ones I had before, the lace agate, those were weighty. These these are about, like I said, about four grams each. Um, they do. These are glass, okay, so they're going to have a little weight, but not to the point of, like, weighing down your ears. And I may be able to, I mean, I'm. they come with the um, standard backs to them. You may, I mean, I could probably, I could probably scoop up a pair of these little disc ones to hold on till they go a little better for your ears, but I don't think they're heavy. No, I don't, I think you'd be fine, but I'll be happy to put in a little extra silicone back. So I don't know if you want them like that. 
but they're, you know, um, they're nicely made for sure. Yeah. And if you wanted, now I didn't get the pendant that I have here with it. Of course, it's not by the same people, but when I bought them, I thought that the pendant and the earrings really complemented one another. Yeah. So if you want, I can give you a deal on both together if you want to do both. Let me see what I got here and I'll see. I'll give you the information in case you're interested. Um, let me put this on a neck. This is going to come in silver tone or glass. But I'm going to put this together so you guys can. I'll give you a deal on the set if you want to do it like that. It may come down. Let me zoom in. Okay, so there's that. And then here are the earrings. I just like the fact they had the blue and the lime green that matches the pendant. Now, if you, or for anybody, okay, so I started the ear, the earrings for 30, the pendant, I was gonna mark down to 12. 30 and 12 be 42. So if you wanted both of them, I'd be willing to do them for 38 if you want the set. I hope you got all that because <laughs> math is not my thing. <laughs> so if I'm selling them individually, that's one thing. But I think they look real, they should go to, I think they look pretty together. But if you don't like them, I'm trying to, you know, move inventory too. So if you want the set, it'd be 38. You're going to get the chain. It comes with the extender. It's not sterling, but you're going to get an extender with it on this chain. I just love, they look really pretty together. You can let me know. Okay, let's move on. Let's see. What else can I show you guys? Anything else you want me to, I'm run three hours and 21 minutes. I got 13 people still here, right? Yep. Well, hell, thank you everyone for sticking out with me. What do you guys want to see next? You want me to keep going with my new things? I want to show you my new things because I still haven't got through my new stuff today. Okay, let me do that. And uh, Monica says she has to wait. But no problem, Monica. That's okay. You can let me know. Let me get my new things out and I'll show you the new things. Go. Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> New stuff. New stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody's going to be patient. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Linda, and everybody else for being patient. <laughs> All right. Let me keep going here. Sterling silver Byzantine bracelet. I showed this on the preview. Really heavy. This weighs 22.88 grams. It's Mark 925. If you're not familiar with this uh, style of chain, all Byzantine links are handmade. This is one link of chain that cannot be duplicated or made in a factory. It all is one continuous wire. If I remember right, I believe it takes one foot of Antoinette's leaving. Bye, Antoinette. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming, love. You have a great day. It takes one full, I believe it's one full yard. If I remember, was it foot or yard? I can't remember. To make one inch of chain because it all has to be done in a certain manipulated way. So they continue making this on a one concrete long strand. I guess a long of metal. So, and this, they consider this a, what they call a square Byzantine. So they do this in like a square. It's all done by hand, okay? This measures seven inch 
long, 22.88 grams. Let me put it on the cone for you. Has a slot clasp with a figure eight safety. I quoted somebody on a price on this yesterday. I'm gonna reduce it. Even though it's brand new, or for me, for brand new for showing. <clears throat> Sir, it's $60. 60. Yes. I quoted somebody yesterday, 80, and I said, you know what, let me go back. $60. So that's basically 22.88 grams. It's about $2.50 a gram for Byzantine. That's This is the most expensive link probably that they make for, for a designer because this is handmade, not stamped in a mill. And these are, they're, they're, these will take a beating. I mean, if you want to say it like that, but this is built to last. This is, this is nice, nice quality. Okay. I'll put that there. You guys can let me know. All right. Let me show in the new stuff. All right, here we go. More new stuff. Ross Simons, gemstone and pearl sterling silver. Paradox, Topaz. Ross, star bid $40. 5.19 gram pair of earrings. Okay, moving on. Oh, another Israeli ring. I showed a few earlier. This is um, designer named is Or O R P A Z Or Paz. Clear quartz and rhodolite garnet ring. Size six, 6.96 6 grams, very collectible, clear quartz, diamond cut, or like garnet. $80, start bid. Actually, they call this, actually, now that I'm looking at it, this is a Portuguese round cut. How do I, what do I mean by that? This is cut differently than a round brilliant cut diamond. Do you guys see how there's extra facets? And if you look straight on that stone, those are Portuguese cut, which means it has more facets in the stone. You do that a lot. Okay. Moving on. All right, another Orpaz piece. These are sterling silver Israeli. Druzy quartz. Sterling silver, one and a quarter inches long, 8.18 grams. $34 start bid. And here's the back. All hand, Israeli pieces are just as pretty. I love them. They're all handmade. Israel. 925 Israel. Okay. I'm moving. I'm showing and going, you guys. You see something, you let me know. I have a 925 Mexico ingot charm, ingot charm necklace. This is a... 20 inch box chain with three suns on it. Okay. Pendant measures one and three quarter inches long, has the antiqued finish. 925 Mexico. 
Start bid. Oh, weighs 12.59 grams. Okay. $30. Start bid. Comes on a 925 Italy AGI chain. Well, it's like to give me a hug. <laughs> My boss wanted to give me a hug today. $30. All right. Moving on. Oh. Navajo signed, artist signed. Hi, Teresa. Well, thank you, Miss. They appreciate that. I try. <laughs> and Teresa, is Teresa, she's subscribed, isn't she? Uh, Teresa, are you subscribed to my channel, honey? Are you? Or registered. Are registered, I mean. Well, and subscribe. <laughs> if not, please send me your info at the top of the chat. Jensgemsfinds at gmail.com. Okay. Here we go. This is stamped. D J N Navajo. Only thing I could find on this designer, he's famous for his cuffs. I didn't find much on his smaller pieces, but his name is Delvin D E L V I N J Nelson. Okay, so you have inlay turquoise and coral, and this little nice little cute little pendant. All right. And the pendant weighs 1.75 inches long. It's going to come on a 16-inch light bulb, I call light bulb chain. Um, this is doesn't weigh a lot. 3.74 grams is what this weighs. But because it is signed, I have to ask a little bit of money for this. So we're going to start this at 38. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. This is cool. I love inlay pieces. This is all flush, nice and smooth. And you guys can look, do research and get back to me on this stuff. I mean, I, this is new stuff I get in and then I show it and you will talk. <laughs> you got my email, we'll chat. <laughs> all right. My thing is I'm just trying to get through all the gold. Okay. Put them on a stand here. There's a feed. Joe's losing the feed. Hopefully you're not losing the feed. These weigh 9.95 grams. Let me show them to you. Constantly. Yeah. Are we supposed to be getting rain? I don't know. Yeah, tonight. Tomorrow. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get this through. There we go. I'm hooking the chickens. Hold on. The chickens need to be laid out. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Here are the chickens. Aren't they cute? <laughs> and then let me show you the mark. Oh, I'm going to flip this other way. Hold on. It says tax go. Well, I'll get it to the screen. Hold on. I might have to turn it around the other way. Hold on. Let me take it off now. But they're chickens. They're cute. Little hoop earrings. Here's the mark. Did I take off the wrong chicken? <sighs> oh, Jenny. You should stick to turkeys. <laughs> stick to turkeys. All right, here we go. Now you guys can see the mark. Mexico, 925, TP-24. There's the one. Here's the other guy. All right. If anybody wants these, start bid $42. 
That was a home like that. These are tags, go. Oh, no. Come on, let in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys still there? <laughs> All 11 of you? <laughs> All right. Let me keep going. I know we got a lot of people that come in late. <laughs> they come in late um, because I know that Kirsten comes on a little bit later. So then she's on after me. So it turns into like, oh, let's just watch jewelry all day. That's it. All right. What else we got in here? Oh. Mm. Oh, pearls. I have some glass and pearls. Rhinestone brooches, Monica. Yep, I can show you some rhinestone brooches. This is 16 inches long with a four inch extender. Freshwater pearl glass. Okay, you guys are seeing that, oh good. Here's the back, not sterling. But it has this really nice extender. $20 start bid. Cute for spring. Okay, we're going to move on. Let me pull them. I don't think any more brooches in here for it's new for a week. <coughs> oh, <clears throat> let me show this one last piece and then I'll show some brooches. <clears throat> this is rose quartz. And dyed quartz. Perfect for spring. It's pink and green, like pastel colors. Nice and long. Whoa, 31 inches long. 10 millimeter beads. Silk knotted, no clasp. $30, start bid. <clears throat> Let me put it on the beige one so you guys can see it, but I think it looks pretty. I mean, it gets washed up on that one. Yeah. Black was better. Like the black? All right, we'll go back to black. <laughs> yeah, it's better contrast. Yep. Look pretty on white wood. We have white plus. All right, let me show some brooches. Hold on, I'm gonna put this all in the same manner. Roberta's gonna go like that. She hasn't been feeling it. Okay, Roberta. Well, before you go, do you want, let's do a. She's gonna lay down. She's gonna lay down? Yeah, she's not feeling good. Okay, honey. No problem. I appreciate you. Um, Bye, Roberta. <laughs> Let me show you the brooches I got back here. I still have. I also have a compact, somebody's needing a compact, an old vintage Estee Lauder compact. <laughs> I also have a uh, Sparsky brooch. Still an original papers, original box. Okay, so I have that. And then I have these. Let me zoom it in. I kind of move things around a little bit. So we have some rhinestone brooches up top. This is BSK signed. <laughs> Old vintage rhinestone here. We have the Emmons brooch. Oh, 
Monica says she's drooling. You're drooling? <laughs> okay, Monica. Well, if you find something you like here, then you let me know, and then we'll go over that and see what I can do for you. You and I will find some things and figure it. So I so said the sterling um, wheat brooch, the uh, sterling Judith Jack shoe, garnet and marcasite, marcasite feather, scroll work pin, sunburst pastels. There is some trafari on here. I'm just going to go through everything, but cats. So we got some cats still on here. Um, the lady in the mirror. <laughs> She's putting hearts. Um, Bakelite. Um, Trafari, cats, coral. It's it's pretty much represented here. I'm kind of name all and then so I will show you whatever you like. <laughs> and uh, still this. This comes in the box. You let me know. Let me. Anything there that feeds your fancy? Or I just, I'm going to just show some things for you <laughs> without having the house of cards uh, come down on me. Teresa says you want cats, Teresa? I got cats. I got three cats on here. Let me Monica's rhinestones. Monica wants rhinestone. Okay. So let me do this. Let me. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to start pulling things down and then we'll go from there. This is BSK sign brooch. I mean, this is what's going to get confusing because I'm trying to hold it to you. I see detail and then I'm trying to do this. So let me do this. Give me one second. Okay. You can wear it that way. Actually, if you wore it this way, because the hook of the pin is on the back here. Let me zoom in so you can see it. So you have emerald cut stones, you have round stones, and then you have the um, satin brushed finish on here. It is signed BSK on the back. So <laughs> I've had this for a little bit. Had it originally at 34, we're marking it down, start bid, $18. That's a gift, quite honestly, for BSK. I mean, for any vintage brooch, is wrong stone. Trafari too. Okay, we'll go through the whole bus. We'll, I'm sure we'll find some things on here for you. <laughs> this is beautiful. Though. I love the emerald cuts. You don't find that a lot too often in there. Okay, let me just put in mark that it's what I priced it at, so I don't forget. I dropped that. All right. I'm just going to keep them off and as I go along. Yeah. Okay. Let me find the next one. Crown Trafari. You said Trafari. As I'm just kind of looking through my notes as I'm going through here. Oh, wait. This one here. This one I'll give you a deal, Monica. It's not sterling, but it is very old. Scroll work. You see how the pin sticks out the side? And it has a bail. You can put a chain through it if you wanted to wear it as a pendant. Start bid on this, $12. Or for anybody at that matter when he's interested. Okay, moving on. What else we got? Let's see. One second. So I found the crown cards is coming down. All right. Crown Trafari faux pearl spray brooch. Retails anywhere from about $75 to 
I had it at 44, which I think is a fair price. However, I want to find homes for things. So for when we're going to reduce it from 44, we're going to go down to 22. In the mark. Okay. Okay. Moving on. What's one? Okay. Here we go. Pastel stones, Aurora Borealis. This is beautiful. Look at this spring. Purples and blues and pinks and lime green. Start bid $16. I don't think these glow, but I'll look. No. This measures um, two and a quarter inch in diameter. I'm streaming in blurry. Comes in and out, sets on and out. <sighs> Right. We've been on too long. Thing tells me, hey, by the way, we're you seeing it now? Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm clear on my side. Try refreshing, Monica. Try come out, come back in. Everybody still there? Can you show the back? Yeah. I'm back. This is 16. Start bid. Oh, that's that too close. Let me go back up just a no, little. No, it's I froze on TV. Is it good now? Here's the back. That's front. Okay. <laughs> well, here's the back, Monica, before I lose you again. I don't want to lose anybody, but there's the back. I actually have it upside down. And then here's the front, two and a quarter inches in diameter. It's a beautiful brooch. It has all different pastel colors for spring. Okay, you let me know. I'm moving on. Then I have a. Oh, Monica's 16. Come on in for 16. Okay, Miss Monica. I got you, girl. I'm going to count this down for Monica. We'll be looking for a bit of 17 or more in case anybody else is interested. No, they're not. Um, no, not prong set. No. But it doesn't mean they're not pretty. All right. I'm going to count the sold for Monica in five, four, three. Two, one. So to Monica. Thank you, Monica. I have another one coming up that's prong set, though. I'll show you that in a second. Oh, she said canceled. Need prong set. Okay. All right. Emmons brooch. Prong set. Marked. Emmons. Emmons, this is the back. Here's the front. That's okay. That's all right. No this, problem. We got you. We canceled. got you. We got you canceled. This is the next one we're doing. This is Emmons. 
Okay. I'll do this one. Start bid 26. Prong set. These are prong set. Vintage. Emin. Signed. Star shape. It's about 1958. Is a circa on this. Okay, I'm moving on. I guess move, move and go, guys. What? Yep. Keep going. We'll see. Let me keep going. What else I can get on here? You only want rhinestone? Oh, wait, or do we want to show kitties? <laughs> I heard kitties, too, somewhere, wasn't it? Teresa. Teresa, you want me to show you some kitties? Let me show. Hold on. Let me move my thing back. Hold on. Anything else you guys want me to show? I do have a sterling silver Koya pearl uh, brooch here. Garnet and marcasite. Judith Jack. Judith Jack feather. Blue, Blue setting gold. This one. Hold on, let me find it. Hold on, okay, hold on. Let's see, one second. I got, I've got like everything in a packet, so I got to find all my information. Okay. Um, this is 14 karat gold filled. This is signed Wells, W-E-E, -E, no, excuse me, W-E-L-S. This is genuine Akoya pearl. There we go. Genuine Akoya Pearl and Synthetic Spinel. 14 karat gold filled and assigned wells. Hold on, let me get the mark for you. Wells, 14 karat gold filled. $18. Start bid. Okay, moving on. And then we want to show cats. <laughs> we never heard back from cats. No, she never responded. Okay. Back. Do we still want to just show Sterling? Oh, this. Oh, the swirling one. That's Sarah Coventry. That's what, what can I this one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me find the information. I have it in here. Got to find it. Yep. Sarah Coventry, swirl brooch. Faux turquoise, faux pearls. $12, start bid. Sarah Coventry on the back. Kathy's in for 12. Hello, Miss Kathy. <laughs> I hope everybody's still here. Thank you. You're welcome. I'd be looking for a bit of 13 or more in case anybody's interested in this. You're back from dinner? I showed a lot of you're gone. Yeah, I did show some stone piece. Look.
when we get to a certain point, it's nice to just. Yep. All right, there's. Oh, Kathy Century. I don't know. Do you like quick this um Sparsky crystal? I have a brooch, a bird brooch. Um, let me get you the price on this. Comes in the original box, and it has the papers. Everything's here. I had a start bit of this for fifty dollars. Oh, came through. Yeah, it did. It came through. You're gonna get the the papers, the box. No problem, Monica. I'm about to give do a giveaway here shortly. If you guys want to hang around just a couple minutes, I'll do another giveaway before I leave. Yeah. Kathy's in for fifty. Thank you, Kathy. But underneath here is the papers. It comes with all the papers in it. it it's under here. You see that red thing under there? There's papers under there. All right, I'm counting this down for Kathy. In five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Kathy. Okay, right. I know we're some video issues. So, um, let's let me just. Kathy, I know you love your rhinestones, lovely. Um, I showed this brooch. I'm just going to just go through it real quick because I know Russian, she's here. I showed Just let me know. BSK. I showed a little small one with the scroll work, also a pendant. I showed an Emmons brooch. Oh. BSK. Okay. I'll show you BSK. This is Emmons. 1950s. Solid back. And then I had a Crown Trafari. And also a Wells. Culture Pearl and... No. All right, let me show you the BSK real quick. I'll give you a price. I marked it down. I had people asking for brooches while you were gone. So let me show you quickly. Show. All right. Start bid. You're going to get a deal, love, because you like this. $18. Start bid. BSK. And blue star. Okay. This was 18 I dropped this from 34 to 18 She's in. Okay. Once, twice, sold. <laughs> That's how we do it here. That's how we do it on Jenny's channel. <laughs> okay, here's that for Kenny Joe. Let me show you the Emmons. What did I do with the Emmons price? Okay, if you want the Emmons, Kathy, I mark this down from 38, 26 bucks for Emmons. There it is, signed Emmons. Well, I find the Emmons part on it. Emmons, right there. 26. Oh, oh sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Joe forgot to type it in. <laughs> and then, okay. Once, twice, sold. <laughs> well, nobody else is here. They have showed it before. <laughs> I'm, this is the second time I'm showing it. Mm -hmm. I'll explain later. I'll explain. Okay. Last thing that you are the... Let's see. Little one. Which one, the little one? Oh, I had a little clear rhinestone one. This one I dropped to $12. It's a pendant and um, she oh. said yes. Okay, put it in there. Oh, you did put it in. It's $12. Just put 12, Gabby.
you're interested in that one. Okay. If anybody else is interested, I'm going to give you a little <laughs> 13 or more. Okay, I'm going to call it for Kathy in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Kathy. Okay. And then the other one I have here. Pastel. Now these aren't prong set, Kathy, just let you know, or anybody else. But very pretty for spring. I love the colors. This one, um, $18 was what I was at on this one. Your internet's lagging. $18 start bid on this one. Not sign. No? Okay. We'll skip that. Um, hold on. I'll do with the... Where was it? Oh, this was the Wells. Black. Black. Oh, sorry, because I have nothing else. Black what? <laughs> sorry. This is a Wells brooch. Okay, so this one. This was I did for eighteen dollars. Fourteen karat gold filled in a Koya pearl. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. Oh, black brooches. Okay. This is blue, dark blue, and pearl. Here's looking at that. You know what? I got. Let's see what else I got. Here. Let me do the one quick zoom. I've got uh, marcasite and sterling. I've got some Judith Jack, Marcusite. Anything here? No. Yeah, I have no black um, rhinestone. That's pretty much you. Just wipe me out of everything. Okay. Or I have Crown Trafari, but that's you. Bow. Okay, I'll show you the bow. The bow. This is uh, let me just find my information. Hmm. One second, nope, I'm on that page. I know I have it here. Just give me one second. I know it's here. Probably the one of the first page for it. Here. Oh, here we go. And then there's a request from Monica when you get there. Okay, well, there's Monica. Okay, we'll get there in a minute. Um, this is the Okay, Jenny. Hold on. Please. <laughs> Why can't I find it? I know I have an information on it. <sighs> one second, Kathy. I'm sorry. Give me one second. It says garnet. Here it is. I think this is it. The holy cut. Yeah. This is it. Okay. Let me just let me just weigh this to make sure that I'm talking about the same brooch. Sorry, Kathy. She's almost there. <laughs> I got. I think I found it. I just have to weigh it just to make sure that the description matches what. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Nine two five sterling silver garnet. 
marcasite brooch. This does stamped 925 China on the back. Okay, 7.8 grams. I'm gonna drop this today. I had it at 40, we'll drop it to $30. It measures one and three quarter inches long. Let me get it in the, I can hold it up. There. It's very sweet. Oh, Jesus, I'm gonna knock this down. Let me zoom in, you seeing it? There you go. It's three dimensional. No? No. The flower up there alone. Okay, hold on a second. What's she talking about there? Oh, the Edelweiss pin. I've got that. This one here. I'll give you a deal on this one. Like if I, yeah. Here we go. Carved Edelweiss, or carved to be looking like Edelweiss. The flowers. C clasp on the back. Um, this isn't uh, ivory that I think of, I think it's just bone. These are collectible. I did do some research on this. So start bid on this one. 38. Kathy's in for 38. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Maybe looking for a bit of 40 or more. Okay, I'm gonna call this for Kathy. In five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Kathy. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Okay, I will show the Trafari Pearl again for Monica. Let me go back to what I had it because I wrote it down. <laughs> One second. Here we go. So yes, do your research. This is Crown Trafari. But because I've had it for a while, I'm trying to find you guys, you know, good prices and good homes. Crown Trafari Pearl Spray Brooch. Retails anywhere on eBay, 75 to 100. I marked this down to $22 from 44. I did a half price sale because I wanted to move it. 22. 22. And then here's the mark. Let me show you the mark. Crown Trafari. Monica's in. Monica's in for 22. Thank you, Miss Monica. Kathy's in for 25. Let me get a little closer so you guys can see. Monica's in for 26. Monica, we do two dollar increments, love. So it'll be twenty seven or more. So we need to twenty seven, Monica, if you were interested, because we go two dollar increments and we hit twenties. Kathy kind of did a jump bid. There we go. Okay. Let me zoom it in a little closer so you see it close. This measures um, two and a half inches long. Just let you nice the size of this. Here's a close up. It's 
So Kathy, if you're coming back, it'd be 29 or more. And there's the mark on Jafari. Kathy, you coming back, honey? Kathy's in at 30. Thank you for the jump bid. So now I'll be looking for a bid of 32 or more. Oh, well, I hope everything's going to go well for you. Monica, if you're in, honey, if you'd be looking for a bit of 32 or more, honey. Oh, shoulder replacement. Mm. Monica's in for 32. Well, prayers for you, Kathy, for that, whenever that happens. Kathy, I'd be looking for a bit of 34 more on this if you're still interested. Out. You're out? Okay. All right, Monica, we're going to count this down for you in five, four, three, two, one. So to Monica. Congratulations, ma'am. All right. Now, that was together. I just want to poke myself. <laughs> okay. You, I do have, I mean, I'm just having to look at what's on my bust here. Let me come back to the screen. Um, I do have another... Trafari on here. Monet Castle Cliff. Monet. Uh, somewhere's Monet. Monet here. Trafari. Castle Cliff. And Sterling Silver Pieces. Is there anything else that I want me to go over? Bakelite. I know you ladies collect vintage, so I don't know exactly what you're looking for, but I mean, I have an idea, but I don't know if any of these need to hit the bill. Coral, this is a coral piece. I've had this for a while too. Is there anything else? One last call before I do giveaways. <laughs> Everybody's good for the day. Is everybody good? Okay. How about you? Are you good, Monica? <laughs> Are everybody happy now? <laughs> yep. Okay. So what we're going to do, we still have, wow, I got more people now. There's down to 10 now. I got 16 of you all here still. Okay. <laughs> well, first of all, um, let me get this out of the way real quick. Um, We've been on for over four hours today. Wow. Okay. Well, we've been. Yes, you're good. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Monica. Appreciate it. All right. Well, thank you all for being here today. First and foremost, I want to, Joe and I thank all of you for being here and participating in our um, online auction sale that we're doing here. Um, we all, pre we appreciate all of you here, your time, your effort, those who bid and purchased. We'll be sending invoices tomorrow early in the morning. Um, if you're not familiar with how we do it here, we um, invoice early in the morning. My husband does it. So you guys usually when you rise and shine in the morning, you'll have a PayPal invoice waiting in your inbox, hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> and then if you guys pay promptly, he's very good on getting your packages packaged up right away out to the post office. 
And um, so the quicker you pay, the quicker we give us to the post office, I guess, in other words, okay? Um, if you, by chance, kind of came in and out of the, uh, the video today, you watched a replay tonight, there's something you want to ask about or any additional items you want to add to my your order, email us promptly right now or within the next few hours, um, prior to probably about 10 o'clock central because we go to bed. <laughs> Uh, but then we can communicate and then if something that can get it out before it's invoice, because once Joe does invoices, we can't stop what we're doing and going back and adding back and forth. That kind of thing gets very confusing. So because we do the invoices, it's like kind of closing out that section of time. OK, so hope that's OK with everybody. What we're going to do now um, is we're going to do a giveaway. Um and for those of you who are new here, I know um, if you have those people who are new, please, first of all, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, my email's pinned up the top of the chat. It's jensgemsfines at gmail.com. Um, you want to send us your information. So we have you listed in the future for future sales and for giveaways um, to do that. Um, please hit thumbs up for me. Hit the bell icon if you haven't done that, because the way I roll with my shows um, that Joe and I do this is that it's based on my work schedule at the hospital. So I typically do. It's not always always, but my typical work schedule, usually I'm off on Tuesdays and or Thursdays. So we usually do these sales usually around one o'clock central. It seems to work for us because we go these four hours time segments of doing this. Um, usually on Tuesdays or Thursdays, we always do a preview haul to let you know what we're going to do and then tell you guys ahead of time or when we're going to be on. Okay. So, um, just keep that in mind. And that's why you subscribe and get the bell account so you can get notifications on your phone or device, <laughs> computer or whatever it is. And, uh, that way we can get you all set up and ready to go. And because the reason why we try to get everybody to pre-register, it, it holds up the process. And that way we're not waiting for people to send us their information. As you see, I do go pretty fast and we go through a lot of product in about four hours time. Um, so it does help when we don't have to have lag time. OK, so let's do this. We're going to there's 10 people here. So I'm going to put in the chat what we're doing. OK, so everybody pick numbers between one and twenty five. Go. Oh, Antoinette's back. <laughs> All right. It's Antoinette. I think it's on. Who was that? I don't remember who it was. Yeah, All right, Antoinette. Remind me what you like, honey. Give me. Oh, now everybody comes in. We're just, just okay. Everybody stop. <laughs> stop. Antoinette. Um, we're going to do another one for this, just to let you guys know. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Antoinette, what do you like, honey? You like feeding the cats? You're feeding the cats. Do you like necklaces, honey? What do you like, honey? Anything you give me would be great. Oh, you're so sweet, sweetheart. Well, I'm going to give you the, uh, this lovely piece because you've been such a nice inspiration for my channel. It's vintage looking. It's a costume piece, but I love it. Okay, I'm going to show you what this is. It's a necklace. And it says, good friend, made with love. And the back says, great finds. So... You'll think of Jen's Gems and Vintage Finds when you think of me anytime you wear it because you're a good friend to me and supporter of my channel. And it comes on this lovely long chain. I hope you love that, honey. And wear that in good health for you, okay? All right. So I see that we kind of had a technical difficulty. We're still having a tech. Okay. So what we're going to do just to make everything 
kosher. Next time, I'm going to do an extra giveaway next time because I think what happens is when we go long on these, these, these chat feeds, the streaming gets kind of messed up. So what we're going to do next time, I'll make sure we do an extra giveaway next week. Does that make sense to everybody? Because I don't want anybody to be upset or feel that this didn't work well today. So that way we do an extra one next time for you guys to come back. Okay? All right. Sounds good. All right. You guys have a good night. Thank you. And uh, we'll be getting those invoices out early in the morning. You guys take care. Thank you.